Doctor. Thank you so much, Governor. Asante sana, Governor. We have the government spokesperson, Honorable Isaac Maura. Tunaye msemi wa serikali, Honorable Mweshmiwa uh, Maura. We have PS Ambassador Julius Bitok. Konaye Balozi Julius Gitao. My brother Sunday, we have Honorable Esther Pasaris, Mama wa County of Nairobi. Konaye Mweshmiwa Esther Pasaris. Tunayo vile vile Honorable Sabina Chege. Kona, we have uh, Honorable Sabina Chege. We have also Honorable Joshua Mwalio. Asandi Mweshmiwa. We have Honorable Dr. Tekla Tum. Asandi Mweshmiwa. We have Mrs. Margaret Kosgei, the spouse of the uh, the spouse of Felix Kosgei, head of public service. Asante sana mama. And we have Bishop Margaret Wanjiru Mweshmiwa. Asante sana Bishop. Na wengi ambao wamefika kama list imeshaandikwa wote tumewakaribisha asanteni sana watumishi wetu and men of you that have arrived after the list had been put down we honor you and we welcome you so much your excellency also we have many many nationalities here uh, rais wetu tuko pia na wengi kutoka mataifa tofauti we have many pastors from china tuko na wachungaji wengi kutoka uchina we have pastors from europe Tuna different countries from europe kutoka europa we have people from South Africa. Tukona watu kutoka Africa Kusini. Tanzania. Kutoka Tanzania. Uganda. Kutoka Uganda. Nigeria. Kutoka Nigeria. We have many people from different nations. Tuna watu wengi kutoka mataifa tofauti. And of course people from America who came together with the man of God Pastor na, Benny. Na watu pia kutoka Marekani walio kuja pamoja na mchungaji Benny. And all of you are welcome. Na nyote mumekaribishwa. Now before I I will receive the ministry of Pastor Sinach. Kabla tupoke uduma ya mchungaji Sinach. Pastor Sinach, he is here together with us. Mchungaji Sinach, yuko katikati yetu. Na ataenda kutuhudumia. She is going to minister to us. I want to welcome our chairman. Nataka kumkaribisha msimamizi Kamati the chairman of the steering committee Archbishop Harrison Nganga msimamizi wa Kamati uh, Askofu Harrison Nganga to come also and in welcome the leaders who will say something here and also is going to give the president the chance to greet us and bless the nation and also we are going to be ready to receive the man of God Pastor Benny Hinn karibu aje atambulishe viongozi Walio mahali hapa na kisha baadaye ataweza kumpokea mchungaji Benny. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Karibuni nyote katika jina la Yesu. Welcome in Jesus name. Sisi tuko na furaha kubwa. We are very happy to welcome the man of God Pastor Benny Hinn all the way from United States of America he is here with us and uh, I want to also appreciate the president of the Republic of Kenya that I and when I met you your excellency a few minutes ago I greeted you praise the Lord I wanted to hear the president say amen I thought I felt like it's a dream until I found myself repeating again, praise the Lord. We are very glad to have a president of this republic that fears God, honors God, and is born again. Tunafuraha na tunashukuru mungu kuwa na raisi wa Mama Rachel is here with us. Yuko hapa pamoja nasi. A born again Christian. Aliyeokoka. A woman of prayer. Mwanamke wa maombi. What else do we want in Kenya? Ni nini mnachohitaji hapa Kenya jamani? 
the wife of the deputy president of the Republic Mke of Kenya. Naibu wa raisi wa inchi ya Kenya. Pastor Dolkas. Mchungaji Dolkas. Is a pastor in this republic. Ye ni mchungaji kwa taifa hindi. I'm so happy that we are being led by God fearing people at the helm of this country. Tunashukuru kwamba katika uongozi wa taifa hili. Tunaongozwa na watu wanao mcha mungu. And now it is my pressure. Na sasa ni furaha kwangu. To invite Lesha Luto, Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya. Nikamkaribishe mama wa kwanza tunaye muenzi, mama Lesha Luto. To come here and give her remarks. Aje apa akatoe otuba ya kwake. As Benihin sits here and listens to you. Wakati mchungaji Benihin ya mekapa. It is a dream come true. Welcome mama wa taifa. Karibu mama wa taifa. Welcome to this altar. Karibu kwa haya madhabao. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Asante sana tunaweza kuketi. Thank you so much. We may sit. Your Excellency Dr. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Raisi wetu tunaye muhensi Dr. William Ruto, the Raisi wa Injia Kenya. Your Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa, Deputy uh, President of the Republic of Kenya and your spouse Pastor Dorcas Rigathi. Tunaye muhensi naibu wa Raisi do uh, uh, rigadi gashagwa pamoja na mke wako uh, mchungaji dokas rigadi cabinet secretaries excellencies government officials and leaders present makatibu na viongozi wote wa taifa mlio hapa pastor benny hin and the team accompanying you from the united states of america chungaji and other ben parts of the world chungaji benny hin na wote walio kuja pamoja nawe kutoka kote ulimwenguni the National Organizing Committee for this Healing the Nation Crusade led by Archbishop Dr. Harrison Nganga. Kamati andalizi kiongozwa na askofu Harrison Nganga. All clergy present. Wachungaji wote walio maliapa. The Church of Jesus Christ in Kenya and from all over the world. Kanisa la Christo Kenya na kutoka kote ulimwenguni. Ladies and gentlemen. Wake kwa wanaume. Good evening. Let's greet each other. Praise the Lord. Let me see your hands as you wave and shout. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. With a heart full of gratitude to God. I stand here again. To welcome all of you to the second day of the Healing the Nation Crusade with Pastor Benny Hinn. Kuwakaribisha tena kwa siku ya pili ya crusade ya uponyaji wa taifa letu ikiwamoja na mchungaji Pastor Benny Hinn. Yesterday, Jana, the heavens opened bingu zilifunguka, and we received showers of blessings. Mvua ya baraka. We saw the stadium fill up with guests from the 47 counties of the great nation Kenya. Tuliona uwanja umejawa geni kutoka kwa magatuzi yote arubaini na saba. We also had visitors from over 20 countries. Pia tulikuwa na wageni kutoka kwa mataifa zaidi ya ishiri. All hungry to hear the word of God. Wote wakiwa Pastor Benny Hinn and the clergy blessed us with the word of God. We saw many miracles. The deaf began to hear. Those unable to walk, walked. Tumors and pain disappeared and many, many more. We give all glory to God for his healing power. Excellencies, leaders, clergy, ladies and gentlemen. This healing the nation crusade is testament of what we can achieve when we work together. 
uh, maono sambamba ya kile tunaweza kutimiza tukija pamoja it is a powerful testimony of the oneness of the body of christ ni ushuhuda mkuu wa muunganiko wa mwili wa kristo i want to thank the chairman of the national organizing committee led by archbishop dr harrison nganga for planning this crusade nataka kumshukuru msimamizi kamati askofu harrison nganga pamoja na kamati yake kwa kuweka mkutano huu pamoja I thank the Church of Jesus Christ for hosting Pastor Benny Hinn and giving selflessly to make the crusade a success. Nashukuru kanisa la Kristo katika nchi yetu kwa kutoa na kujitoa kuweza kumpokea mchungaji Benny Hinn. I also honor and thank Pastor Benny Hinn for honoring us with his presence after 23 years. Namshukuru pia mchungaji Benny Hinn kwa kuweza kutuheshimu na uwepo wake baada ya miaka 23. Thank you Pastor Benny Hinn. Asante mchungaji Benny Hinn. Yesterday I told him that his coming to Kenya is not only a blessing to us but also a blessing to the continent of Africa. Jana nilimjulisha mchungaji Benny Hinn kwamba kuja kwake Kenya si uponyaji true wa Kenya bali pia hata kwa bara la Afrika. Pastor Benny Hinn, thank you for accepting our request to come to Kenya. Mchungaji Benny Hinn, tunashukuru kwa kuheshimu mwaliko wetu wa kuja katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your ministry. Bwana akubariki, Bwana alibariki huduma uh, yako na pia familia yako. As I said yesterday, you are always welcome here. Kama nilivyotangulia kusema jana, umekaribishwa wakati wote. As a nation and especially the church. Kama taifa na asa kanisa. We have agreed that we are ready for revival. Tumekubaliana kwamba tuko tayari kwa ufufio. And as God increases us we will deepen our sense of true worship and reverence to God. We thank God for giving us a president and an administration that fears God. As the church I want to assure you your excellency that we are praying for you and your administration. Kama kanisa kama mwili wa Kristo nataka kukuhakikishia rais wetu kwamba tunakuombea. As my spiritual authority Reverend Teresa Wairimo says, what is birth in prayer must be sustained in prayer. Kama vile msimamizi wangu wa kiroho Kasisi uh, Teresa Wairimo anavyosema, kilichozaliwa kwa maombi kitadumishwa kwa maombi. Excellencies, leaders, clergy, ladies and gentlemen. Wanaoheshimika wake na viongozi mlio hapa hata kwa wanaume. Today we are greatly honored Excellency the President of his County Government Leaders join us. Siku ya leo tumeheshimika kuwa na rais wetu naibu wa rais na viongozi wa njia tofauti katika taifa letu tunawapokea. Tunasema karibuni sana. We say thank you welcome so much. I want to close my brief remarks today with the words of our national anthem which inspires us to stay united as believers and as a nation. Nataka kumalizia otuba yangu kwa maneno ya lio katika ombi la wimbo wetu wa taifa ambao ni maneno ya nao tutia moyo na kutuimiza. I quote, Let all with one accord in common bond united build this our nation together and the glory of Kenya, the fruit of our labor, fill every heart with thanksgiving, end of quote. With those few remarks, Wahayo, machache, I want to thank you for your kind attention. Nataka kwa 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 umakini. Asante ni sana. Thank you so much. God bless our beloved nation Kenya. Bwana alibariki taifa letu tunalolipenda Kenya. And God bless Africa. Bwana abariki Africa. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Asanteni bwana wabariki. Uh, God bless you the first lady of the Republic of Kenya. Bwana kubariki mama wa kwanza wa taifa letu Kenya. And uh, the first woman to be there and uh, saying Bwana Sifiwe every morning, every evening. Na mama wa kwanza kuwa katika iyo nafasi anaesema 
Bwana asifiwe yeah, asubuhi na hata jioni. Tunashukuru sana. Thank you weekend. Asante ni mnaweza ka. Uh, nimesikia kuna mzee wa kanisa. I've heard that there is a church elder who has married a Pastor Dorcas. And we want to appreciate Pastor Dorcas. Tunataka kutambua na kushukuru mchungaji Dorcas. Wakati tunaita bwana yako the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. When we call your husband and give his remarks. Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa aje aweze kutoa hotuba. And invite for us the president of the Republic of Kenya. Akisha akatukaribishie rais wetu wa Kenya. Asante sana mnaweza ka. President William Ruto. Rais wetu William Ruto. President of the Republic of Kenya and Ra Commander in Chief of the Defence Forces. Raisi wa inji ya Kenya na amri jeshi wa majeshi yetu. Your Excellency the First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto. Anaye shimika Mama wa Kwanza Mama Rachel Ruto. We are visiting Pastor Ben Hin and the rest of the clergy. Mgeni wetu anaye tutembelea Pastor Mchungaji Ben Hin. I am very elated to accompany my boss to this healing the nation crusade. Nina furaha sana kuweza kuja pamoja na mkubwa wangu katika mkutano huu. Your Excellency Genesis chapter 11 verse 6 tells us. Raisi wetu mwanzo sura ya 11 mstari wa 6 inatuambia When God wants to bless his people, wakati Mungu anataka kubariki watu wake He gathers, he gathers them all on an altar. Anawagatha anawakusanya wote kwa madhabahu. They speak one language and one people as one people. Wananena lugha moja kama watu wa familia moja. And God makes all things possible. Na Mungu anafanya mambo yote yawezekana. Or they plan and do succeeds. Mambo yote inaweza kufauri. Your Excellency, this crusade could not have come at a better time for our nation. Mheshimiwa, hii crusade haijakuja kwa wakati mzuri kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya. Last year we came out of the worst drought in 40 years. Mwaka uliopita tulitoka katika jangwa mbaya sana kwa miaka 40. Late last year and early this year we have just had a gonde El Nino phenomena. Na mwaka huu tumeweza kupatana na mvua kubwa zaidi. For the last one year our country has undergone a difficult time due to economic challenges. Kwa mwaka mzima nchi yetu imepitia hali ya kiuchumi mzito sana kwa sababu ya jangwa. This crusade could not have come at a better time. Muhimu mkutano wa hadhara haungekuja wakati mwingine. And since my boss will speak on our behalf. Kwa sababu mkubwa wangu atanena kwa niaba yetu. Please assist me to welcome the president of the Republic of Kenya Dr. William Samoe Ruto Mr. President Kwa Christo Bwana Yesu wasifiwe God is good And all the time Tuimbe wimbo gani? Ati mmesema Bwana huu sehemu yangu. Aya. Bwana huu sehemu yangu. Fi yangu wewe katika Safari yangu twatembe ana wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu ana wewe mali Sikutaka Nini Eshimiwe Yanani Kutema Shaka Sawasa Wana wewe Pamoja Na wewe Pamoja Na wewe Katika Yeah, no, we, we. 
Asanteni sana mnaweza keti chini. Our friend and brother Benny Hinn, welcome to Kenya. On behalf of the government and the people of Kenya, and on behalf of our spiritual fathers and the Christian community in Kenya, we welcome you to this great crusade and thank you very much for finding time to visit Kenya after a very long time. When my wife told me that he had visited you and requested you to come to Kenya, I didn't know it was going to happen that soon. But thank you very much for honoring us with your visit. Because you are a great man of God, I will say this today, here in Nyayo Stadium, that the first time I got a revelation that I was going to be president in Kenya is in 2006 during the Azusa 100 celebration of revival in the US and I was there with my wife and I was there with Reverend Bishop Adoyo and many others and I couldn't believe that the son from Sugoi would one day be president of Kenya. And because that revelation came during that great celebration of revival, I am certain that God is going to favor this country with another revelation and with another revival in our country that will make Kenya a great nation, not just in Africa, but globally. I can already see a great country in Kenya going into the future. Let me tell you, friends, I have just come from a meeting with the ambassador of the US. You know, and she came to tell me what you already know, that the president of the US has invited the president of Kenya for a state visit, one of a kind, in 20 years. No African president has had a state visit in the US. Let me say again that this country will go places. Kenya is going to be greater than what you see. And it is because we believe in the living God. You remember, last year, we came to this stadium. Last year, there was drought in Kenya, as my deputy has said, the worst in 40 years. We've never had proper rains for the last five years. We came and prayed in this field. Many people mocked us and said, look at these ones. But Mungu Ninani. <laughs> last year, we had rains because men and women of God prayed and we had the best rains in the last 10 years. And I want to thank God that already there are signs, there is a writing on the wall that Kenya is going to go blesses. Let me remind you, fellow citizens, the words of Deuteronomy 15.6 that say, for your God, the Lord God will bless you as he promised. God promised to bless Kenya. And it goes on to say, you will not borrow, but you will lend to others. I know we have challenges with our economy, but I want to tell the people of Kenya, 
we believe in the living words of Deuteronomy 15:6. This country is going to be a country that will lend to others. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And I want to tell my brother Benny Hinn, you have in us friends, partners, the people of Kenya. We believe in God and we are unashamed about our faith in God. Asanteni sana, nawapenda sana, nawatakia baraka ya mungu, my friend and brother Benny Hinn, welcome to Kenya. Thank you very much for all those who put this together. Have faith in God. Because those who believe in God will not be put to shame. And we believe in God and God is going to lift us up. Asante ni sana, mungu wa bariki. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Big hand clap to the president Tumpikie of the Republic of Kenya. Laisiwetu wa Jamuri ya Kenya makofi mazuri. Can we sit down? Tunaweza keti. We are now preparing to bring the man of God, Ben Hinn, to the pulpit. Sasa tuwa jandaa kuleta mtumishu wa mungu, Ben Hinn, hapa katika madhabahu. I want to inform you, uh, Pastor Ben Hinn, that the whole church in this country, uh, mainly, I have come here to welcome you and to listen to your message today. Ningetaka mchungaji Ben Hinn ajue kwamba kanisa zote za Kenya zimekuja hapa kuweza kukukaribisha. Led by our fathers of faith who are seated there. Kiongozi na baba zetu wa imani ambao wameketi pale. The archbishop uh, Kitonga is there with us. The Amba. archbishop Kibara Bara. Archbishop ako pale. The archbishop uh, the bishop Kiliopa. The bishop Mark Kalioki is there. Askofu Kalioki yako pale. Mangret Wajiro is there. Pia Askofu Mangret Wajiro yako pale. Mama Bishop Kitonga is there. Na pia mkewe Askofu Kitonga yako pale. And the fathers of the faith that are here with us. Na pia baba zetu wengi wa imani wako pomoja nasi. And Bishop Lai was here with us yesterday. I don't know whether he is with us today. Askofu Lai yadikuwa hapa jana. Sijui kama akwa ma miondoka. May God bless you fathers of faith. Bwana awabaliki baba zetu wa imani. Without your blessings we could not do what we did. Bila baraka zenu watungefanya vila tulifanya. You prayed for us. Kulituombea. We met with you. You gave us advice. Tulikutana na njimu katubea mashauri. You talked to us. Mkatunenea. May God bless you forever in Jesus. And uh, I did not read these uh, issues alone. I see Bishop Moiro on this side. Pastor Apostle Pastor Ezekiel is here with us. Naona mchungaji Ezekiel yako nasi. God bless you very much. Bwana akubariki sana. Bishop Michael Wandeli is here with us. Tukona Askofu Michael Wandeli yako nasi. Bishop Jogona is here with us. Askofu Jogona. And many other bishops and pastors here with us. Na Askofu wengi na watumbaji wako nasi. All those are those giants in this country. Hawa ni wale majitu katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. They have met for the first time. I have never seen these people meeting together. Wamekutana kwa mara ya kwanza. Sija wayo na mkutana wamekutana hivi. I'm shocked. Nimeshanga. Pastor Kayanja. Chungaji Kayanja. We love you in this country. Do not get tired of holding our hands because this kind of ministry was brought about by you. You have a heart. If you had not brought to us Ben Hinn, Ben Hinn could not be sitting here. You are the one who gave us the contacts and you talked with him and made him to meet with the team. That was led by the first lady. God bless you, Pastor Kayanja, forever. We are looking forward to having you here in your stadium with such a meeting because you are capable. I know you have two sons here. Yes, you have two sons here. 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 
Tumesubi na pia mtume Suna. Have son. Uko na mwingine wa tatu, Alison. We are three now. Sasa tuko watatu. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to recognize the committee that brought together all this you see here so that as you speak you may know the men that uh, and the women that are behind the organization of this uh, crusade, the two days crusade, what? and tomorrow's pastor meeting here in town. What? Please, please stand up mimi. and uh, recognize you, please. Come so that people can see the men and women who brought together this great, great, great crusade. I was the, uh, the, the, the chairman of the steering committee. The coordinator of this committee, uh, Lefred Kisotu, is here with me. Amen. Mina. And she, he was also representing the national altar Na led pia. by our first lady. Please, please don't stand before the guests. Pia alikuwa na kirisha madhabahu ya kitaifa ambayo inaongozo na mama yetu. And uh, also we have uh, Pastor S uh, Apostle Suna pia that has been leading us here Suna. and organizing all you see here in front. This is Apostle Suna. Yeye yeah, alikuwa yeah, anafanya maandalizi hapa mbele Mtume Suna. Apostle Subi is the one that led intercessors. Mtume Subi ndiye alikuwa anaongoza maombezi. And as you can look at that grass house over there. Ukiangalia ile nyumba ya viwa pale juu. We still have some intercessors inside still continuing in prayer. Tuko na waombezi ambao wanaomba hata sasa. God bless you apostle. Bwana akubariki mtume Subi for the good work you did. Kwa sababu ya kazi nzuri iliyotenda. He is also in the national altar. Yeye pia ako katika madhabahu ya kitaifa. And uh, we have Akama, Apostle Akama, Prophet Akama with us here. Tuko na Nabi Akama pamoja nasi hapa. We have the presiding bishop of the Redeemed Gospel Church, Kefa Omai. Tuko na askofu wa Redeemed Gospel, abaya ni Kefa Omai. Bishop Obonyo. Askofu Obonyo. Here with us. Ako nasi. Bishop Mankula. Askofu Mankula. And all the square that we see here behind us. Na kwa ya hii yote unawana hapa nyuma. The choir, the choir, the 5,000 voice choir. Ile sauti ya watu elftano. Was led by evangelist Ruse Wagojiri. Ili kwa inaongozwa. God bless you for the good work. Wana kubariju wa kazi mzuri. And the beautiful ladies there. Na pia mabintu walembo pale. They look like February 14, I don't know. Wana kaa. I think something is happening. The interpreter of Benihin was also a member of this committee. Muka, bishop from all the way from Narokuba Place Church. A spirit-filled man of God. Interpreter for the Benihin. Bishop Ileli. The man who did the mobilization of all this work. And caused us to go to every pastor's fellowship in this republic. God bless you very much. The man of God Apostle Olo is here with us. Tume Olo Konasi. He has been very, very effective. You have been seeing him walking around here. Ame kuwa wangubu sana. And led all our teams here. Na pia vio. That was involved in ministry. Then we have Apostle Juma. Tuko na Tume Juma. We had Bishop Luth. Tuko na Skofu Luth. Bishop Luth and Apostle Maggie were leading the ushers. Askofu Luth na pia Apostle Maggie walikuwa naongoza mashemanzi. Kave Kuna is also in this committee. Pia Kave Kuna ako kwa huu. May God bless you, great team. May God bless you forever. As He blesses these people of God, He will remember you. Bana awa baliki na baba baliki wengine atawa kumbuka. God bless you. Bana awa baliki. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate this group. Watch out to share the cake. Kundi hiki. And as they sit down, na boketi. I will not forget to introduce my dear wife, Lucy. Sita sahau kumtambuli shamke wangu, Lucy. She stood with me every day. I left her in the night to go and do these meetings every day. And uh, she never complained and she supported me well. God bless you. God bless you. We are going to have a short moment of baby worship on the place. But before that, Ben Hinn wants to tell you why he is not wearing white. Because everybody is saying, where? Where, where is he not wearing white? Pastor Ben Hinn, this is your meeting.
Huni mkutano wako. These are people that are expectantly looking at you. Hawa ni watu ambao wana matarajio mengi wa kutazama. Because the stadium gets. Hata wametumefunga malango. Kwa sababu hapa kumejaa. And we have placed the screens outside so that people can see what you are saying. Na tumeweka runinga huko hivi ndio watu wasikie. You are the man of the hour. Wewe ndiye mtu wa sasa hivi. We were just the way. Tulikuwa tunaandaa tujia. We'll come here for a minute. Kwa hivyo nitakuwa nimesha kwa dakika moja wa nene. Go and then come back. Alafu utarudi alafu ukuje. I was requested today by these men. Please come, David, Pastor David, and Archbishop, please come. They requested that I wear my white suit because you had made a request. Is that correct? Yeah, so they asked me, please. I've never really done this before in my life. So I came wearing my black suit. But you all want me to wear my white suit. How many people agree with you? All right. Then I will go if you will allow me. And I will come back in about 10 minutes with my white suit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let everybody now stand up as Sinach comes on the stage and leads us in praise and worship as Ben Hill prepares himself with a white suit.
Wave your hands to Jesus. Father, we thank you for the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to bless him. His presence is all over this place. He has called us victorious. He has called us his children. The name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. How much is seeking? 
And to Jesus be the glory. And God's people said a mighty amen. Thank you for having me in your country. And thank you, Mr. President. And Now let's lift our hands and thank him. Wonderful Lord, Baba Mwema, you are our God, Wewe ni Mungu wetu. the God of Abraham, Mungu wa Ibrahimu, Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob. Na Yakobo. And so we come to Na. you today. Sasa kwa leo. 
In the name of Jesus, your son. Katika jina la Yesu mwanao. Thank you, Lord. Asante bwana. For your son. Kwa mwanao. We come in his name. Tuaje kwa jina lake. The name above every other name. Jina lililo juu ya majina yote. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. And we welcome you blessed Holy Spirit. Tukualika barikiwa Roho Mtakatifu. Touch our hearts today. Uza mioyo yetu leo. You're the one who makes Jesus real. Wewe ndio wafanya Yesu kuwa halisi. We welcome you. Tunakukaribisha. Holy Spirit. Tukualika Roho Mtakatifu. Thou art welcome. Tukualika in the spirit. here to hear a preacher or any man we are here to hear the sweetest voice the voice of the Lord we've come to meet with him our Redeemer our Savior the greatest privilege we have the greatest privilege is to know him. The reason we were born into this world was not that we would know our parents because sooner or later they will go or our brothers or our sisters 
because they too one day will go or our friends whom do I have in heaven but the Lord said David whom do I have but thee this life is only a passing moment why are we here why were we born that we might meet the Son of God what a tragedy it is to live this life and not meet the Son of God who became flesh and was proven to be the Son of God by His resurrection from the dead. He sent the Holy Spirit to the Holy Spirit. Almighty to dwell within us God Almighty. Why? Why is the Holy Ghost here? Not that we might know each other. That we might know the Lord. And walk with Him. And talk with Him. And hear His lovely voice. So when we sing now this song, so to it's a prayer. Lift your hands to him. Shh. Choir, let's welcome him. Holy Spirit, thou art well. Come in. Let me hear your choir. Thou art welcome. Forget yourself now and lift your hands and welcome him. Omnipotent Father. Mercy and grace thou art welcome lord one more time holy spirit holy spirit thou art welcome we welcome you, Lord, our God and our King. Maru kantal al metro piyal bakreme, omnipotent Father. Oh, so merciful. Thou art welcome. And he comes as we worship Jesus. Glory to the Lamb. Choir, lift your hands to heaven. Shh, heavenly. Glory. Glory. 
Sing it. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb of God.
kings and kingdoms. All pass away. But there is something. But there's something about your name He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. My fortress, my God, in Him, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings. will trust in you you know it quiet let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord hands quiet you are my hiding place sing it for me Your voice is quiet. I will trust. No sleep, it quiet, slumbers, no sleep, neither slumbers, no sleep. He that keepeth Israel, he that keepeth Israel, neither slumbers, nor sleep, slumbers. Would you lift your hands to heaven with me? Lord, we come tonight and we pray first of all that your name would be glorified in this house in our lives 
your name glorified in Kenya through the life of choice Mr. President of Kenya his wife and government bless them keep them protect them and keep heaven open upon Kenya in Jesus name we pray for Africa visit this continent with revival bless every nation in this continent now Lord we come on behalf of your people Israel tonight you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. O Lord, intervene. O Lord, bring peace to your people, your pleasant land. Such pain, such turmoil. But you're the Prince of Peace. You're the one who is peace. Now, Lord God, we pray, intervene in the present situation. Glorify your name. Protect your name. Fulfill your word. To Abraham, to Isaac and Jacob. Fulfill your promises spoken through the prophets of Israel, Isaiah, and Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, and all the prophets. Bless your people, for you're the one who keeps your people. To you belongs all the praise and all the glory and honor. And God's people said, Amen. Amen. And Amen. As you remain standing, I want to say a few words to you. God Almighty declared in His Word, if the heavens can be destroyed, if the moon and the stars can vanish, only then will the seed of Israel cease from being a nation. The nation and people of Israel Taifa na watu wa Israel cannot be destroyed. Hawawezi haribiwa kamwe. For God declares, Mungu anatangaza, it is impossible. Haiwezekani. Where are the ancient Egyptians? Wapi wale wa Misri wa zamani? Gone. Waliondoka. Where are the Babylonians? Wapi wa Babyloni? Gone. Ametoweka. How about the Assyrians? Wapi wa Palestinians? Gone. Wametoweka. How about the Edomites? Na wale wa Maleki. Moabites. Wa Moabu. All the ites. Wale wengine wote. Gone. Wametoweka. God said. Yes, wana, Mungu anasema. God said. Mungu anasema. I will make an end of all nations. Mimi nitafanya mwisho ya mataifa yote. And then he added, Na akaongeza, I will not make an end of thee, saith the Lord. Lakini sitafanya mwisho wako, asema Bwana. Why are the Jewish people still here? Mbona wayahudi bado wako? Queen Victoria of England years ago Malkia Victoria wa England miaka mingi liopita asked her prime minister of Israel akauliza prime minister of Israel the Jewish prime minister uyo muyahudi prime minister she said Israeli 
akasema Israeli give me one verse in the bible that proves there's a god nipe andiko moja inayothibitisha kwa biblia kwamba kuna mungu he said your majesty i'll give you one word akasema kwa hakika nitakupa neno moja the jew myahudi he said to the queen of england he said as long as there's a jew there's a god akamwambia maadamu kuna myahudi kuna mungu because if there's no god there will be no jewish people maana kama hakuna mungu basi hakuna wayahudi and so today kwa hiyo leo i want to invite to the platform the ambassador nataka kumkaribisha kwa madhabahu haya balozi wa israeli please come tafadhali njoo Mr. Lotem, I'm glad to meet you. Nimefurahi kukujua. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. So can I give you a hug? Shalom, shalom. Come please. Come greet the people of Kenya. Watu wa Kenya. And Africa. Na Africa. And they're watching throughout the nation. Na watu wa Can we give the ambassador a big God bless you please? God bless you. Mungu awabariki. If I may a few words. Kama ningeweza kwa maneno machache. His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Mheshimiwa Rais, Dr. William Ruto, Rais wa Kenya. First Lady Mrs. Rachel Ruto. Mama wa Taifa Rachel Ruto. Deputy President Legati Gachagua and the spouse Pastor Dorcas. Naibu wa Rais Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa na Mheshimiwa Mkewe Pastor uh, Pastor Dorcas. Pastor Benny Hill and your delegation Shalom. Mchungaji Benny Hill na delegation yako Shalom. All our bishops, bishops and clergy from throughout the world. Watumishi wa Mungu maaskofu na kutoka nchi zote za dunia. Government leaders, sisters and brothers. Viongozi wa, wa mataifa wa, wa, wa ndugu na wadada. All protocol observed. Shalom. Shalom itikati zote zikiwa imehifadhiwa. Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah or the way we call him Ishayahu. Tunamuita katika lugha yetu Ishayahu. The son of Amos. Mwana wa Amos. And I will quote. Na nitasoma. Come let us go up to the mount of God. Jo twende kwenye mlima mkuu wa Bwana. To the house of the God of Jacob. Kwa nyumba ya Mungu wa Yakobo that we may be instructed in God's ways tupate kufundishwa kwa njia za Mungu and that we may walk in God's path tupate kutembea kwa njia za Mungu for instruction shall come from Zion maana maagizo ya of God from Jerusalem maagizo ya Mungu yatatoka Zion neno la Mungu kutoka Yerusalemu let's see you translating this one walkhu amim rabim wa amru lanu wa na'ale el har adonai el bayt elohi yaqov wa yaronu midrakhav ונלמד באורחתיו כי מציון תצא תורה ודבר אדוני מירושלים ושפט בין הגויים והוכיח לעמים רבים וכיתתו חרבותם לעיתים וחניתותיהם למזמרות לא יישא גוי אל גוי חרב ולא ילמדו עוד מלחמה Thus will judge God will judge among the nations אם המונגו and arbitrate for the many peoples na tapatia wengi haki and they shall beat their swords into plowshares na watapiga silaha yao vyombo vyao vya kazi vya silaha and the spears into pruning hooks mifuko ya mikuki yao iwe vyombo vya kulima on behalf of my government kwa niaba ya serikali yangu on behalf of my sisters and brothers the people of israel kwa niaba ya dada zangu na ndugu zangu watu wa israeli those free and those who will soon be free wale ambao wako huru na wale ambao watakuwa huru hivi karibuni i thank you all for your prayers na washukuru wote kwa maombi yenu and sheer love na maombi na upendo wenu pray for us stand with us tafadhali tuombeeni simamini nasi god bless you all mungu awabariki wote elohim yebarek otkhem shalom shalom hiyo pekee tunajua Shalom asante sana asante sana no. Serge mwangaza utarudi baada ya muda mfupi but the lord is here lakini bwana yuko hapa How many of you can hear me please wave Wangapi mnanisikia tafadhali mpungie mkono All right okay 
How long before they fix it? Mdagani kabla wa watatuwe hiyo shida? In just a moment. Kwa muda mfupi. Forgive us for this, but these things happen. Can the crowd hear me? Aha. Good. Asante. Unanisikia? If you hear me say yes. That's all I need to know. Hiyo tu ndio nataka kujua. Are the instruments working? Vyombo vinafanya? Beautiful. We can have service now. Asante. Tunaweza endelea na ibada. Yes. Ha. Ladies and gentlemen, Habibi na mabwana, tonight I'm going to minister on the power and the authority of the Bible. Usiku wa leo ndani na kuhusu nguvu na mamlaka ya Biblia. Can we bring this pulpit a little closer this way please? Tusongeshe karibu. Thank you. I want to speak to all of you. Nataka ninene na nyote. God's wonderful holy people. Watu watakatifu wa Mungu. Here in Kenya and throughout the nations who are watching around the world. Hapa Kenya na dunia nzima wanaputazama duniani. We have a treasure tuko na hazina the word of god can you turn this on for me please look as quick 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 and i want to just speak to you aningependa kuniana nanyi on the importance today kuhusu umuhimu leo to know the mind of god almighty wa kujua mawazo ya mungu mkuu you can stop playing for a minute There are people today that don't know the Bible. Kuna watu leo hawafahamu Biblia. They know portions of the Bible. Wanajua baadhi ya maandiko kwenye Biblia. They don't know the word of God. Lakini hawajui neno la Mungu. The church globally Kanisa ulimwenguni in certain areas katika maeneo tofauti especially among the youth sana sana katika vijana is beginning to question wanaanza kuutia mashaka the scriptures maandiko you'll hear some say utasikia wengine wakisema jesus is one way to heaven yesu ni njia moja ya kwenda mbinguni anyone who says that does not know the scriptures yeyote anayesema hivyo hajui maandiko matakatifu for the bible says he is the only way Maana ma, maandiko yanasema yeye ndiye njia pekee ya kwenda mbinguni. He is the way. Yeye ndiye njia ya pekee. And the truth. Na kweli. And the life. Na uzima. Now let me open my heart and talk to all of you as your brother. Wacha nifungue moyo wangu niseme nanyi kama ndugu yenu. What proof do we have? Je, ni thibitisho gani tunayo? That the Bible is God's word. Kwamba Biblia ni neno la Mungu. One thing. Kitu kimoja. Fulfilled prophecy. Ma unabii iliyotimizwa. I told you last night I want to say it again. Niliwaambia usiku uliopita nasema tena. If you look at any religion on earth. Ukiangalia dini yoyote duniani. Their books contain zero prophecies. Vitabu vyao havina unabii hata mmoja. Yet the Bible. Na Biblia. 2500 prophecies ina unabii 2500 in the word of god katika neno la bwana 2000 of those prophecies have been fulfilled in details nabii ilionenwa 2000 imetimizwa kwa kina 500 more prophecies will be fulfilled unabii 500 itatimizwa when the lord returns bwana atakaporudi and the fulfillment of the millennium na kutimizwa kwa miaka ya millennium think about the chances hebu tafakari nafasi that even three can be fulfilled ya tatu kutimizwa yet two thousand prophecies have been fulfilled already na tayari unabii 2000 tayari imeshatimizwa three hundred and thirty two prophecies fulfilled dealing with the first coming of Jesus to earth unabii 300 na zaidi inaongea kuhusu kuja kwa bwana yesu kristo peke yake details of his life 
mambo ya maisha yake kwa undani in Micah 5 verse 2 Marko 5:2 we see the details of his birth tunaona undani wa kuzaliwa kwake who is from everlasting nani atokaye umilele and thou o bethlehem na ewe bethlehemu out of thee shall arise the governor kutoka kwako kutatokea kiongozi from everlasting gavana atokeaye kwa umilele here we have a clear prophecy about the birth of jesus in bethlehem tuna unabii wa kuzaliwa kwa yesu bethlehemu kwa undani god almighty mungu mkuu according to the prophet micah kulingana na nabii micah isaiah Isaiah chapter 9 mlango wa 9 mstari wa 6 For unto us a child is born Maana kwetu mwana amezaliwa Unto us a son is given Kwetu mwana amepewanwa And his name na jina lake shall be called Ataitwa Wonderful Counselor, mshauri wa ajabu Mighty God Mungu mkuu Wait a minute Sikia dakika moja. A child is born. Mwana amezaliwa. A son is given. Mwana amepeanwa. His name shall be called what? Jina lake linafaa lina kuitwa nani? Wonderful counselor. Mshauri wa ajabu. Mighty God. Mungu mkuu. Here we have Isaiah. Tuna Isaiah hapa. Declaring. Akitangaza. That this son. Kwamba huyu mwana. Unto us a son is born. Kwetu mwana amezaliwa. Given. Amepeanwa. His name is wonderful counselor Jina of my God. Mwana, m- mungu mkuu, mungu wa ajabu. I Fa- can give you prophecy after prophecy after prophecy. Naweza wapa memory, baada ya unabii proving to you that Jesus is the Messiah. In all the bitisha ya kwamba Yesu ni Mesia. To all testament scriptures. Kulingana na maandiko ya agano la kale. They pierced my hands and my feet. Wana, wametoboa mikono yangu na miguu yangu. Psalm 22 written by David. Kaburi 22 imeandikwa na Daudi. Who else? Nani mwingine? Was crucified. Nani mwingine alizulubiwa? Now the reason I'm talking to you sababu nao wanenea is I'm going to give you a challenge. Nitawapa changamoto. I'm going to give you a challenge. Nitawapa changamoto. I'm going to give you pastors a challenge. Nitawapa wachungaji changamoto. I challenge you to read the bible three times a year nawatia changamoto msome biblia mara tatu kwa mwaka mmoja not once a year sio mara moja sio kwa mwaka three times a year si mara moja kwa mwaka bali mara tatu kwa mwaka unajua kwa nini i'm doing it mimi nafanya hivyo i've been doing it for 10 years nimefanya hivyo kwa miaka 10 sasa I was telling the archbishop today. Na nilikuwa naangalia nilikuwa naongea na archbishop. I was challenged by Melan Hickey. Mimi na nilikuwa natia changamoto Melan Hickey. 10 years ago, maybe over nilipewa changamoto za Melan Hickey miaka 10 iliyopita. She said, "Benny, how many times do you read your Bible?" Akaniuliza, "Benny, unasoma Biblia yako mara ngapi?" I said, "Once a year. I read the whole Bible." Every year, once a year. Oh, she said, "I challenge you." Akaniambia na kuweka changamoto. To read it three times a year soma mara tatu kwa mwaka i did not think i could do it sikudhania naweza but i did lakini nilifanya and i am still doing it baada nafanya because i don't read chapters kwa sababu sisomi kurasa i read thoughts naongea na nena nasoma mawazo i was telling the archbishop did i said i said you can read the whole book of genesis in five days unaweza soma kitabu chote cha mwanzo kwa siku tano if you read the thoughts ukisoma mawazo not the chapters sio ma, ma i began ma, doing that 10 years ago and i'm still ma, doing it na nimefanya kwa miaka 10 naendelea kufanya here's how i do it even ndivyo nafanya i divide the bible into thoughts na gawanya biblia kulingana na mawazo example ama mifano from genesis 1 to 11 okay, one mfano. thought uh, kutoka mwanzo uh, mwanzo cha kitabu cha kwanza mlango wa kwanza mwanzo mmoja utukufu wa mwanadamu is one thought ni mwanzo mmoja genesis 1 to, to 11 is one thought kuanzia mwanzo mlango wa kwanza mpaka 11 mwanzo mmoja mwanzo mmoja thought number 2 wazo la pili abraham ibrahimu 
from Genesis 12 to 24 the story of Abraham from 24 to 28 Isaac Isaac from 28 to 32 Jacob Jacob from 32 to 37 the sons of Jacob wana wa Jacob from 37 to the end of the book Joseph when I discovered that that's what I began to do I read my Bible from Genesis to Revelation every four months it has changed my life I'm a different Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn to sana sasa. From the last time I came to Kenya. Benny Hinn to not, wa, because because I, I, I made a decision. Wamuzi, I am not going to get to heaven and discover how much I missed on earth. Sita ingia mbinguni nijikute vile nilivyo poteza hapa duniani. Did you hear me preachers? Did you, are you listening to me, Pastor? Are you listening to me, choir? Don't get to heaven and find out how much you missed on earth. Get to know the Lord through His Word today. He gave you his word. What are you waiting for? You can know God today. Like I told you earlier, you were, you, were not, you were not born into this world to know your parents. Because one day they'll be gone. Or your brothers, or your sisters, or your friends, or your relatives. I was born into this world to know one person and one person only. His name is Jesus, the Son of God. Because without knowing him, life has no meaning. I've told the Lord many times, Lord, I would rather to have not been born than live without knowing you. Let me, let me, let me ask you all a question. Is it worth living? If you get up early in the morning asubui, and work all day ufanya kazi siku nzima, to make some money so you can pay your bills. Pesa ya yako. You, 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 you come home, you're so tired, you Una can't think straight. You watch the news. Habari. You get all depressed. Una muka, una you, you look what's, what's happening around okay, you. Kile you, you get discouraged. And the next day you do the same thing. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And, the next day. and now life passes by. And you're old. And you die. Is that why you're alive? Hivyo. To work hard every day. So you can pay your bills. And then you leave your money for someone else to take care of. And they ruin whatever you built. My dog dog has a better life than that. Yes, right. I got a dog a few years ago. Big great dame. That dog doesn't have to work. He hasn't one worry in the world. As long as I feed that dog, 
Maadamu mtu anapomlisha yule mbwa ni msafisha yule mbwa That dog is very happy Huyo mbwa amefurahi tu ana starehe But look at the way people live Lakini angalia vile watu wanavyoishi They struggle every day Wanangangana kila siku to make money kutengeneza pesa and then they die Alafu wanakufa No 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 no. Uh uh-uh. uh. This is not the reason you're here. Sio hivyo maana ulivyo hapa. You're here. Uko hapa. To meet kukutana the son of God. Na mwana wa Mungu. Before you ever make heaven. U, kabla hujafika mbinguni. Get to know him on earth. Pata kumjua hapa duniani. Through his word. Kupitia neno lake. In America today. Kal- Marekani leo and the western world na ma, ma, ma ya kule you know what is the number the number one problem today in the west shida moja ya kwanza kule mataifa ya west mr president it is Magari. mental illness shida ya magonjwa ya mawazo mental illness is killing our young people ugonjwa wa mawazo inamaliza vijana wetu Mental illness is causing such tragedies in many families. Ugonjwa wa mawazo inafanya maafa nyingi sana katika familia. The Bible says. Biblia inasema, Great peace have they that love your law. Waku walioje wale wanaompenda e bwana, wale wanaokupenda e bwana. Do you want peace in your life? Unataka amani katika maisha yako? Wait with me. Nisalimie hivi. Get to know the Bible. Pata kujua Biblia. Because the Bible gives you peace. Ana Bibili nakupa amani. Great peace. Amani kuu. Have they? Wali, wanao, that love your law. Wanaopenda and nothing. Wanaopenda sheria yako. Nothing. Hamna kitu. Nothing. Hamna kitu. Will offend them. Itakayo shinda jambo hilo. When you neglect the Bible, unapopuzulia Biblia, you're injuring your own soul. Una aribu nafsi yako mwenyewe you're injuring your own life na maliza maisha yako mwenyewe the word of god neno la mungu is all we have ndio pekee yetu nalo it's our food ni chakula chetu it's our water ni maji yetu let me let me read what billy graham said about the bible wacha nisome uh, biblia kidogo Let me just read this. It's so important to understand how powerful the Bible really is. So I just want you to listen now to this most remarkable statement by Billy Graham. Haya maneno yalionenwa na Billy Graham. Millions of people today are searching for a reliable voice of authority. Watu mamilioni leo wanatafuta sauti yenye mamlaka inayotegemea. The word of God is the only real authority we have. Neno la Mungu pekee ndio mamlaka tuliyonayo. His word sheds light on human nature, world problems and human suffering. Neno lake inaangaza kwa dunia na mashida ya binadamu. But beyond that it clearly reveals the way to God. Lakini baada ya hapo inafunua kwa dhairi njia ya Mungu. The message of the Bible is the message of Jesus Christ. Ujumbe wa Biblia ni ujumbe wa Yesu Kristo. Who said I am the way the truth and the life. Aliyesema mimi ndimi njia kweli na uzima. The Bible is the story of salvation. Biblia ni habari ya wokovu. The story of our redemption. Habari ya ukombozi wetu. The story of life. Habari ya mwangaza peace, nuru na amani and eternity na uzima wa milele our faith is not dependent upon human knowledge imani yetu haijajengwa juu ya maarifa ya kibinadamu and scientific advance na mambo ya kisayansi but upon the unmistakable message of the word of god lakini imejengwa juu ya ujumbe mwafaka wa neno la mungu the bible has a great tradition neno la mungu iko na desturi ya kipekee a magnificent heritage urithi wa kipekee it contains six 66 books iko na vitabu 66 written over a period of several hundred years ambaye imenakiliwa kwa miaka zaidi ya 700 by many different men na watu 
tofauti tofauti. Yet the message of the Bible ila ujumbe wa Biblia is divinely inspired by the Holy Spirit. Imetiwa nguvu na uweza na mamlaka na Roho Mtakatifu. The Bible is old. Biblia ni ya zamani. Yet it is ever new. Biblia ni nzee ila ni mpya kila siku. It is the most modern book in the world today. Ni kitabu kipya zaidi ya vitabu vyote katika dunia leo. There is a false notion that a book as ancient as the Bible cannot speak to modern needs. Uh, ni, ni uongo kusema ya kwamba kitabu kizee kama Biblia haiwezi nenea uh, ma, mahitaji ya kisasa. People somehow think that in an age of scientific achievement when knowledge has increased more in the past 25 years than in all preceding centuries what, put together. Watu wanaweza dhania ya kwamba wameendelea sana katika maarifa na ujuzi wa kisayansi na wanaweza puuzilia maneno ya Mungu. This ancient book is out of date. Hiki kitabu imepitwa na wakati but to all who read and love the bible it is relevant for our generation lakini kwa wote wanaosoma biblia inatunenea kila wakati kila msimu katika maisha yetu na vizazi vyetu it is in the holy scriptures that we find the answers to life's ultimate questions katika neno la mungu ndipo tunapata majibu ya maswali yote ya maisha where did i come from why am I here? Where am I going? What is the purpose of my existence? One of the greatest needs in the church today is to come back to the scriptures. As the basis of authority and to study them prayerfully in dependence on the Holy Spirit. When we read God's word, we fill our hearts with his word and God is speaking to us. William Lyon Phelps called the most beloved professor in America. William Lyon Phelps, mmoja wa wasomi wakuu kule Marekani one time president of Yale University wakati mmoja alikuwa rais wa Yale University said these words akasema maneno haya i thoroughly believe na, in a university education for both men and women naamini sana kabisa elimu ya university ama chuo kikuu kwa wake na waume but i believe a knowledge of the bible without a college course is more valuable than a college course without the bible Naamini zaidi ya kwamba ma, kuelewa neno la Mungu bila uh, chuo ma, ma, elimu ya chuo kikuu ni bora kuliko kuwa na elimu ya chuo kikuu bila neno la Mungu. This is the man who was president of Yale University. Huyu ni mtu alikuwa rais wa Yale University. He said. Alisema, I thoroughly believe. Naamini kweli in a university education for men and women kwa masomo ya chuo kikuu kwa wake na waume. But I believe. Lakini naamini zaidi a knowledge of the bible maarifa ya biblia without a college course bila elimu ya chuo kikuu is more valuable ni dhamana zaidi than a college course without the bible kuliko elimu ya chuo kikuu bila maarifa ya biblia one of the greatest tragedies writes billy graham today ajali kuu zaidi ambayo watu hukumbana nayo maishani siku ya leo although the bible is an available open book it is closed to millions Ispokuwa Biblia haijafungulia imefungwa kwa mamilioni ya watu Either because they leave it unread Ah uh, labda ni kwa sababu wanaacha bila kusoma or because they read it without applying its teachings to themselves Ama wanasoma bila kuzingatia na kutenda mafundisho yake katika maisha yao No greater tragedy can befall a person or a nation than that of paying lip service to a bible left unread or to a way of life not followed hakuna jambo libaya zaidi kuliko kutenda na kunena mambo ya biblia kwa kinywa bila kutenda na kuacha bila kusoma na bila kuishi maneno ya biblia but here's the sad thing he writes lakini kuna jambo la uzuni zaidi anaandika hapa he said the bible anasema biblia the greatest document available for the human race needs to be opened read and believed yet a recent survey indicates that only 12% of the people who say they believe the bible 
actually read it every day. Ya kwamba asilimia 12 peke yake ya watu wanaosoma wanaamini wanaosema wanaamini Biblia peke yake ndio wanasoma kila siku. Only 12% of those who say they believe the Bible read it every day. Na 12 Uh, asilimia 12 peke yake ya watu wanaosema wanasoma Biblia wanaisoma kila siku 34% read it once a week asilimia 34% wanasoma mara moja kwa wiki and 42% read it only once in a great while na asilimia 42% wanasoma mara moja moja i challenge you na kutia changamoto i came to kenya to challenge you nimekuja hapa kenya kuwawekea changamoto Up wasting your life wacha kupoteza maisha yako filling your mind with worldly knowledge kujaza mawazo yako na elimu ya kidunia if you really want peace ukitaka kweli amani if you really want to know the grace and power of god ukitaka kujua neema na nguvu za mungu if you really want to know the presence of the holy spirit ukitaka kujua kweli uwepo wa roho mtakatifu fill your mind and your heart with the word of god jaza mawazo yako na moyo wako neno la mungu I promise you. Na kwa hidi, your life will change. Maisha yako yatabadilika. Your future will change. Hatima yako itabadilika. No more demons harassing your mind. Hakuna mapepo yatakotesa mawazo yako tena. No more devils harassing your Hakuna life. Hakuna mashetani tena itakotesa maisha yako. I'm here to challenge. Niko hapa kuwawekea changamoto. The pastors. Wachungaji. Read your Bible. Soma Biblia yako. Stop reading books. Wacha kusoma vitabu that cannot help you. Ambaye haiwezi kukusaidia. Help God's people. Usisaidie watu wa Mungu. Give them the word of life. Wape neno la uzima. The word of God. Neno la Mungu. And the people said amen. Na watu wa Mungu My life is changed. Maisha yangu yamebadilika. I've always read the Bible. Ninasoma Biblia. I've always loved the Bible. Nimesoma Biblia kila wakati. I even went. Hata nikaenda. I got so so hungry for the knowledge of the Lord. Nikapatwa na njaa ya kumjua Mungu. I didn't say knowledge. Sikusema maarifa. I said the knowledge of the Lord. Nimesema ufahamu wa Mungu. I signed up nika as a student nikaenda nikajiandikisha nika, nika kama mwanafunzi of hebrew university wa chuo kikuu cha waibrania 5 years ago miaka 5 iliyopita i wanted to know the hebrew bible nataka nijue biblia ya kibrania and i'm here to tell you and niko hapa kuambia for three years kwa miaka tatu i had the best professor i could even think about nikakuwa na mkuu wa Yemenite wa... teacher muelimu wa kipekee si galzo har anaitwa hivyo vile amesema she became my friend akawa rafiki yangu and she taught me the hebrew bible akanifunza biblia ya kiebrania and she said pastor benny akasema mchungaji benny hii you are my number one student wewe ni mwanafunzi wangu wa kwanza i discovered the bible like i have never seen it before nikagundua biblia kuliko vile nimewahi jua hapo mbele because i said i am not going to die maana nimesema sitakufa till i know the mind of god the best way i can find jua mawazo ya mungu kwa ubora zaidi maybe you'll never get the chance to go like i did online and study hebrew labda hutaenda vile nilivyoenda kwenye chuo cha waibrania kwa njia ya mtandao but you have enough in the english bible lakini uko na biblia yako ya kizungu na kimasai na kiswahili na kikuyu na yote badilisha maisha yako the word of god neno la mungu all right pastor dan let's go mchangaji dan Psalm 1 verse 1 2 3 please take your Bible moja, moja mpaka 3 tusome tafadhali And would you men please move over and let him sit on the corner here Come on let's go Pastor Dan My dear brother Dan All right Okay So Psalm chapter 1 Zaburi moja verse 1 2 and 3 Let's go brother Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners yes, nor going. sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his, but his delight, delight is in the, the law of, of the law and in his law doth he meditate day, day and, and night and, and he, he shall be like a tree planted by undeniable by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall, shall not, not 
not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But his delight, hold it, hold it. His delight is in what? His delight is where? Come on, come on. Answer me, talk to me. His delight is in the what? Wait, wait, the crowd. I don't want to hear you. His delight is in the? His delight is in the? His delight is in the? That's the scriptures. That's the word of God that will change your life. Let me just say something very quickly here. What are the chances that a library of books, 66 books, Library ya written sita. over a period of 1,600 years moja by 40 authors, na three languages, sita, na, luka tatu. three continents. Continent tatu. Yet when the Bible came together, it had one message. Biblia ika, ika kuja pamoja, ika wana ujumbe moja. Wait, 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 hold, goja, hold, hold. Goja, goja, goja. If Pastor Robert and I, Robert na mimi, who are living in the same time, ambo, kipindi kimoja, decide to write a book on faith or any subject. subject. That book kitabu, will be different from me to you. Kwangu na kwaku. If we say, let's write a book on faith, it, it won't be the same book. Aita kuwa, aita kuwa kitabu kimoja. Think about it. 40 authors who did not know each other who lived in different centuries who began writing the Bible 1,600 years it took to write the Bible. It's like, it's like beginning to write it's like beginning to write the Bible 500 years before Columbus and finishing it yesterday. You, 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 you got that. You got that. It's Na, like beginning to write a book 500 years before Columbus Ka, mea, mea ka mea tano kabla Columbus. and finishing it just last week. Wiki liopita. And it's one message. E, nani ujumbe it's moja. one message. Ujumbe moja. It's one message. Ujumbe moja. Redemption through the Messiah. Ujumbe moja. What are the chances ni nafasi. that a question in Genesis is answered in Isaiah? Ni, ni, ni. And a question in Isaiah is answered in Amos what and a question in Hosea is mentioned and answered in John it's impossible the mind of God the word of God a library a light to direct you a food to support you comfort to cheer you Comfort to cheer you. Oh, ufariji na kukufuraisha. I want you all to say the Bible. Nataka Wait, wait, don't uh, say the Bible is a light to direct me. It is food to support me. It is comfort to cheer me. The Bible. Biblia. Say the Bible will fill my memory will fill my memory say the bible will fill, will will fill my memory rule my heart guide my footsteps guide my way guide my feet it is the bible that should fill your memory and rule your heart and guide your feet if you want your life to change, the Bible is a mind of wealth, the source of health, the world of pleasure. Say with me the Bible. I want to hear you. The Bible is a mind of wealth, the source of health, a world of pleasure. I will read it to be wise. I will believe it to be safe. I will practice it to be holy.
the word Maneno of the Lord. Ya Bwana. 1600 years. Miaka 1600. 40 others. Waandishi 40. Three languages. Lugha tatu. On three continents. Na ya ya continent tatu. And it's one message. Na ni ujumbe moja. The mind of God. Mawazo ya Mungu. Now. Sasa Let's go to John. Twende kwa Yohana. Marko alfa pial baka. Hey, if I pray if if I go if I get excited, don't 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 stop me. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Somebody say hallelujah. John chapter 10, 34 through 36, Captain Dan, let's go. The Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 34, 35, 36. Let's go my brother. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, you see, you see, they were questioning whether he's the son of God. Because when he said he said he's the son of God, the Pharisees became angry. So this is his reply. You try, brother, but I don't think you'll succeed. It's okay, go, go, go. Let's, let, let's go. Jesus you answered, keep up with is me. it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the son of God. Now we see what, what the Lord was doing. It was, he was saying something powerful. He, he, said, he said, he called it the word of God. The first verse. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God... Stop, stop, stop. The word of God. The word of God, it means it has no human origin. It's called the word of God. Not the word of man. The word of God. Not the word of man. It has no human origin. It is the word of God. And then he said what? Sit down. What else did the Lord say? Unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be ah, ha, ha. The scripture cannot, cannot be, broken. be broken means it's eternal. When time will cease, the word lives. The word is eternal. The word goes on. It is eternal. It is eternal. It cannot be broken. Read that again. If He called them gods unto whom the word of God came and, and the scripture cannot be broken. Stop. The scripture what? Man, be broken. Wait, wait. I want, I want to hear you. The scripture, one more time. The scripture what? I want to hear you. It what? Choir, it what? Cannot be broken. Broken. Maandiko hayawezi kutanguka. Ni ya milele. It is eternal. Ni ya milele. The Bible says something Biblia powerful. Biblia nasema jambo la nguvu hapa kuhusu Biblia. Psalm 119 verse 89. Please quickly. Psalm 119. Saburi 119. People today are trying to change Saburi it. Uh, they are trying to make it fit the age. No, no. The word of God will not fit the age. The age must fit the word of God. Neno la mungu halibadilishu milele. Shall I say it again? Nisemetena. Look, they are trying to make the Bible fit the age. No, no, no. It's the age that must fit with the Bible. Nyakati na kipindi lazima itoshe ni Biblia. Yes, it says. Forever, O Lord, Thy word is settled in heaven. Milele neno lako e buana lime tuli ambinguni lime idibiti wambinguni. Say forever. 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 O Lord. O Lord. Your word. It's settled in heaven. It's eternal. It cannot be broken. It cannot change. And God says something. No devil can stop it. No devil can change it. No power on earth can even remove a little pyramid out. 
God declared Mungu anatangaza You are my people Yenye ni watu wangu Nothing can change that Hakuna kitu inaweza badilisha hiyo You know I'm going to say something to you tonight Unajua naambia kitu jioni ya leo You know the church today Unajua kanisa leo Many in the church believe that Wengi kanisani wanaamini hiyo That hiyo that 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 hiyo 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 no different than the devil haina tofauti na shetan they believe that wanaamini hiyo jesus came to earth kwamba yesu alikuja duniani so does the devil hivyo hivyo shetan anaamini vile vile they believe that wanaamini hivyo jesus died on the cross yesu alikufa msalabani so does the devil hivyo pia shetan anaamini They believe that wanaamini kwamba he rose from the dead. Alifunga kutoka kwa afu. So does the devil. Vile vile shetani anaamini hivyo. They believe that he ascended on high. Wanaamini kwamba alipa juu. So does the devil. Hivyo hivyo shetani anaamini vile. They believe he rudi tena so does the devil pia shetani anaamini vile ah it's not believing that sio kuamini kwamba it's believing in ni kuamini ndani yake it's believing in ni kuamini katika say it's believing it's believing in it's believing in. let me give you an example acha niwape mfano how many of you preachers here believe wa biru wengi wenu wangapia how many believe that i exist ni wangapi naamini kwamba mimi naishi naishi Asante. Because you can see me and hear me. Niona, Now, how many believe in me? Ni wangapi mnaniamini mimi? Ah, uh, look look at all that. Ah, angalia angalia wait, wait, angalia wait, wait. angalia angalia. You're wrong. Mume akosea. To believe in me, give me your soul to keep. Aha, kuniamini mimi nipe nafsi yako nibabe nibabe, si unaona? To believe in me, give me your money to protect for you. Kwa kuniamini mimi nipe pesa zako nikuwekee. You cannot believe in a man hauwezi amini katika mwanadamu because he cannot keep your soul maana hauwezi ifadhi nafsi yako are you listening to me anisikiza abraham believed in god abraham alimwamini katika mungu in god means katika mungu ina maana i trust your lord na kuamini e bwana i give you my life na kupa maisha yangu i give you my soul to keep kupa nafsi yangu ifadhi the devil Shaitani believes that anaamini hivyo anaamini kwamba 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 na kwamba does na not bwana. trust the lord lakini hamuamini bwana it's not about that sio katika it's about trust ni kumuamini yield kujipeana surrender jisalimishe to the lord kwa bwana so when you got saved kwa hiyo wale mnaosema What did you say? Nini nilisema? Lord. Bwana, I give you my life. Nakupa maisha yangu. That's believing in. Hiyo ni kuamini katika. How many are getting what I'm saying? Put your hands up high. Wangapi mnaelewa ujumbe huu? That's the difference. That's what makes the difference before the presence of God. Hiyo ndiyo inaleta tofauti katika uwepo wa Bwana. And believed in God. Ukimwamini katika Mungu. And he declared him righteous. Na na anakutangaza mwenye haki. The Bible. Biblia And only the Bible. Na Biblia peke yake reveals that to you and me. Inadhirisha hivyo kwangu na kwako. The word of the Lord. Kupitia neno la Bwana. Let's go to Matthew 24. Twende kwa Mathayo 24. Verse 35. I just showed you that the word of God is eternal. Nataka kufahamu kama neno la Mungu ni la milele. It's not the product of time. Sio sio matokeo ya nyakati. Eternity. Ama, ama umilele it contains the eternal mind and counsel of god imejaa maarifa na ufahamu so wa mungu wa milele time and the world passes away so, the counsel of god revealed through so, the word nyaka, will stand forever nyakati inapopita neno la mungu labakia milele matthew 24:35 says what to us captain dan heaven and earth shall pass away but Bim- my word shall not pass away aha mungu na nchi zitapita lakini maneno yangu hayatapita kamwe The eternal counsel and mind of God cannot pass away. Maarifa na mawazo ya Mungu haiwezi pita kamwe. It's the word of God is not the product of time. Kwa sababu neno la Mungu sio matokeo ya nyakati. But it's eternal. Lakini ni ya milele. 
God's mind, God's counsel, God's counsel, when time and the world pass away, the Bible cannot pass away. The entirety, Psalm 119, verse 160 says, the entirety of your word is truth. Every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. Now some will say, Well, Benny Hinn, I found some contradictions in the Bible. No, no, no. It's not contradiction. I was, I was asking my professor Sigal. I said, I said, professor, I have a question for you. It says in scripture that Absalom spent 40 years in Hebron. I said, well, there's no way because the whole kingdom of David lasted 40 years. So she, said, well, she said, let's go to the Hebrew Bible. I said, okay, okay, so I read what it says, Arbaim. Arbaim means 40. I said, it must be some uh, mistranslation. She said, let's go to the original. So she had the original on her laptop. She said, Arba'a. Four years. Not 40 years. It's not a question of contradiction translation. Are you, are you listening to Because every one of your judgments, David said, righteous judgment is forever. The entirety of your word is truth. From Genesis 1.1 to the last verse of Revelation, the Lord Jesus accepted the absolute truth and authority of the Bible. He accepted the absolute truth and authority of the scriptures because when he was tempted by the devil, he answered every temptation with, it is written. And I told you last night, Satan never questioned that. If Satan accepted the authority of scripture, shame on those that question it. Did you hear what I said? Satan accepted the authority of the Bible. Because when Jesus said it is written, the devil did not question it. If Satan accepted the authority of the Bible, shame on those that question it. For it is the eternal word of God. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 17 and 18. Pastor Dan, please read for us. Matthew 5. 17 and 18. I'm feeling the charge of the anointing shifting here. I'm sensing something shifting in the atmosphere. Read for me Matthew 5. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, The truth I say unto you, he said, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Till all be fulfilled. A jot is the smallest of the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. A title is smaller than a comma 
a little curl at the end of certain letters maandishi ya kibirani iko na maandiko kadogo zaidi katika maandiko yao Jesus said not one jot or tittle can be removed Yesu akasema hakuna hata andiko hilo la kibirani hata moja now sasa 2 Timothy 3:16 I'm almost done this is very important 2 Timothy 3:16 please there Wale wa pili 16 for the Lord word in breathe by the Holy Spirit Go ahead All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness all scripture all scripture all and new testament maandiko yote in breathed by god imetiwa pumzi na mungu ni kila andiko lenye pumzi ya mungu second peter 120 please dan petero wa pili second peter 120 please and then verse 21 also But read for me second peter 1 verse 20 very important knowing this verse that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation the will of man but holy men of god speak as they were moved by the holy ghost maana unabii haukutolewa popote kwa mapenzi ya mwanadamu bali wanadamu walionena yaliyotoka kwa Mungu wakiongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu the psalmist zaburi wrote these words mwenye kuandika zaburi haya the words of the lord are pure words maneno ya Mungu ni atakatifu like silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times kama fedha iliyojaribiwa mara saba ikatakazwa mara saba this explains inspiration hii ina put that scripture on the screen ina for, for the people psalm 12 verse 6 zaburi 12 the words of the lord maneno ya mungu pure words maneno matakatifu like silver tried ni maneno safi ni fedha iliyojaribiwa in a furnace kalibuni juu ya nchi iliyosafishwa mara saba so the silver kwa hiyo hiyo fedha is the message ni ujumbe the fire ensures its purity moto, seven times moto inahakikisha utakatifu wake ama usafi wake mara saba but the furnace of earth lakini jo, the furnace of earth moto wa dunia is the vessel god uses ni chombo ambacho mungu anatumia who is inspired who in in our tiwa pumzi holy men speak watu watakatifu walinena holy ghost inspired vile roho mtakatifu alipo the word that came neno lilikuja the silver ni fedha purified seven times ileo takaswa mara saba safishwa mara saba earth and vessel na maviombo vya dunia it came through And often they did not even know what they were saying. Na mara mingi hawakujua nini wanasema. They were searching. Walikuwa wanatafuta. Looking. Wanatafuta wanatumia. What does it mean? Nina maana nini? Inamaanisha nini? Na maana gani? Now I want to I want to show you something. Nataka niwaonyeshe kitu. From 2 Peter 3 verse 1 and 2. Because there you see the Old Testament hapo unaona agano la kale na agano jipya. All right? Yeah. Second Peter. Petro wa pili. You going to read for me? Tanisomea. Chapter 3. Langu wa 3. Verse 1 verse 2. Mstari wa kwanza na wa pili. Please. This second epistle, beloved I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of, of the, the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Stop. Holy prophets means Old Testament. Manabi wa watakatifu inamaanisha agano la kale and the commandments of us ile amri ya bwana apostles na mokozi iliyoletwa na mitume wenu ni agano jipya read that again soma tena the second epistle beloved be mindful be mindful of the words which were spoken yale by the holy prophets ah, that's old covenant and of the commandment of us 
the apostles of the Lord and Savior. The New Testament. Agano Jipia. He said, "Be mindful." Mutafakari. All Scripture. Mandi koyote is the Word of God. Neneno la Mungu. So he's telling us clearly. Wewe anatuambia wazi wazi. That the whole Bible, Old and New Testament, is inspired. But then he also adds in Second Peter 3, verse 15 and 16. Go ahead. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures. What he's saying is, the epistles of Paul are also scriptures. Maandiko ama nakala za Paulo ni maandiko pia. I want you to lift your hands to heaven. Ataka wa inu yako jubinguni. Father, Baba, let them see it. Wacha wayone. Let them see it. Wacha wayone. Open their hearts. Kungwa mio yao. Give them that divine hunger. Wape ionja ya kimungu. For your word. Waneno lako. In Jesus' name. Katika jina la yesu. The minute you fill your life with scripture. Unapojaza maisha yako maandiko. Go to Psalm 119 quickly. Verse 93. Have you, have you noticed Pastor Robert? Pastor Robert have you noticed dear man of God, woman of God? That when you read a book. Any book. You only read it once. Maybe twice. It's over. But the Bible. You cannot stop reading it. Why? 119. I'm going to give you the scriptures again. I want you to read Psalm 119 verse 93 please. I will never forget thy precepts. For with them. Thou has quickened me. It means it's alive. When you read a book, any, any book, there's no life in it. Somebody's story. Somebody's message. Somebody who tells you what God showed them. The word of God. Living. It quickens. In a work of high. It gives life. In a piano high. The Bible. Biblia. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 45. Uh, verse 11. Tanum said, Wa kumina moja. It's powerful. In a nguvu. Powerful. In a nguvu san. Read it for me, please. Yes, so meta for that. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. Now, I want you to go to Jeremiah 23, 29. And I want to say something. Real, real gentle here. The mind absorbs and absorbs every time you open your eyes. Every time you Listen. Unaposkiza. The pollution of the world uchafu na machafu ya dunia in your mind iko katika mawazo yako and becomes like a rock. Na inakuwa kama jiwe. And it becomes so strong. Na inakuwa na nguvu sana. It becomes a na kwa ngumu a door. Na kwa ngumu na inakuwa lango. A stronghold. Inakuwa nguzo for the demonic. Ya mashetani. That's why Christians today, and your man Christo Leo, many wengi are oppressed by devils. Because they build in their mind a stronghold. They watch too much television. They read worldly magazines. They read worldly information. They look at worldly Program. Wanatazama vitu vya dunia. And it fills their mind. Na and wazi. now it becomes hard. Na 
like a rock na kuwa kama jiwe na kuwa kama mwamba na nini nitavunja read it soma tafadhali 23:29 is not my word as like as a fire jeni langu si kama moto and kama like a hammer na kama nyundo for what wait 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 ivunjao mwamba what rock it breaks the rock it, in pieces in a what rock vipande vipande jiwe gani the worldly rock ni jiwe la kidunia kwenye mawazo yako get the garbage out of your head ondoa takataka hiyo kwa kichwa chako use the hammer of the scriptures and break it down tumia nyundo la maandiko vunja vunja hiyo mawe and once you break all that obstacle stronghold down au unapovunja hiyo mawe kwa mawazo yako the fire will burn in your heart moto itachoma kwa moyo wako remove all the pollution that is in your life ndoa taka taka zote za shetani katika maisha yako you will not need to go to someone hautahitaji kwenda kwa mtu devil out of you akutoe pepo the word of god will cast the devil out of you pepo katika maisha yako out of your mind out of your thinking the oppression will go and clarity will come i give you a secret meditate tafakari some one zaburi moja mara nyingine meditation kutafakari is not mental sio kitu cha mawazo it is spiritual ni kitu cha kiroho read it tusome tafadhali psalm 1 1 verse 1 2 3 blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the un- you know you know what i'm doing tonight unajua ninafanya nini jioni ya leo natumia nyundo i am letting the word do the job na wacha neno litende kazi yake it's not what i say It's what I'm having you read. Nikila na fanya kusoma. Read it. Soma. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Now, I began doing that. Nilianza kufanya hivyo 12 years ago. Miaka 12 iliyopita. I began to take those thoughts I told you earlier. Kuondoa mawazo haya niliwaambia awali. Think about them. Na kuyatafakari. And eventually, na hatimaye I could give you every chapter I read. Naweza kusema kila nakala niliyosoma katika mawazo. I can break it down for you without even looking at the Bible. Naweza kuku So, yeye bila kusoma. Stop playing. 2015, uh, uh, Mr. President Mheshimiwa Rais Dear First Lady Mheshimiwa Mama wa Taifa In 2015 I was dying Mwaka wa 2015 nilikuwa nafukufa My heart moyo wangu failed Ilianguka ilishindwa kufanya kazi heart failure Nili nilikuwa na shida ya moyo I could not walk from here to that speaker Singeweza kutembea kutoka hapa mpaka ile speaker I went to the doctor Nikaenda kwa daktari They rushed me to the hospital. Wakaniweka kwa hospitali kunilaza. They told me. Wakaniambia if you were one day late you'd be dead. Kama ungechelewa siku moja ungekuja hapa maiti. Can't my rush came to see me in the hospital. Ah, uh, awapendwa alikuja kuniona hospitalini. I was dying. Nilikuwa nafa. My injection fraction ah uh, kuna upasuaji ilifanyika. The nurse would know what that is. It's uh, when the heart beats na nurses wanajua they say if it goes below 20 wanasema hiyo kupiga damu ikipungua chini ya 20 it went down to 14 yangu ilishuka ikaenda 14 14 is the heart is doing this not that 14 inaenda hivi inatetemeka hivi i began to fill with fluid nikaanza kujawa maji they gave me lasik immediately wakaanza kupasua mara moja The doctor rushed me in so quickly daktari akaniweka haraka sana two weeks i was in intensive care wiki mbili nilikuwa katika hali maututi but here's what happened lakini kuna jambo nilifanyika i did not know ambayo sikujua they put me under waliniweka chini they put a wire in my body wakaweka waya kwenye mwili wangu kutazama moyo wangu ama kupima moyo wangu watoto wangu michael michael jessica 
Jessica and Joshua, na Joshua were in the room with me. Walikuwa kwenye hicho chumba na mimi. They began to cry. Wakaanza kulia. They thought I was going home. Walifikiria naenda nyumbani. They thought I was going to heaven. Walifikiria naenda mbinguni. Because while I was out, maana nilipozima, as I was coming back, nilipokuwa nikirudi, I was repeating every chapter. Nilikuwa narudia kila kurasa of Genesis. Katika kitabu cha mwanzo. I did not know I was repeating the Bible. Sikujua nilikuwa nasema Biblia. I was out. Nikatoka. Yet my mind was giving my children the Bible. Mawazo yangu ilikuwa inapa watoto wangu neno Biblia. When I came, when I came to, nilipokuja, they were crying. Niliporudi walikuwa nalia. Walikuwa nasema baba. Umetupa kitabu nzima ya ya mwanzo. Ulikuwa naongea Biblia kwa nini? What tell me that again? They said daddy. Baba, when they put you out. Walipokuzima just before you came back. Kabla urudi You were giving us the whole book of Genesis. Ulitupatia mwanzo kitabu cha mwanzo yote. A man who deals scientifically and medically. Mtu anaye anayefanya mambo ya science. Service in in Seattle, kule Seattle, Washington. He was screaming. Alikuwa anapiga nduru. He said this is what I know Anasema, to be scientific. Hii ndio hii inaelewa kisayansi. Said, get up here. Asema amuka kuja hapa. He told the whole crowd. Akaambia watu wote. He said what he said is fact. Akasema kile unachosema ni kweli. Unapojaza mawazo yako. It goes into your subconscious. Inaenda kwenye I dare you to do it. Na kuchangamsha leo. I dare you to do it. Na kuambia fanya hivyo. Fill your mind. Jaza mawazo yako. The word of God. Neno la Bwana. So when you're sleeping. Ano kilala. The word will be awake. Neno litakuwa liko hai. When you're sleeping, unapolala, the word never sleeps. Neno halilali kamwe. The word never sleeps. Neno halilali kamwe. The word never sleeps. Neno halilali kamwe. Keep it alive. Inaweka uhai. In your mind, in your heart, it never sleeps. Halilali kamwe. It quickens you. Inakutia uhai. Anybody here listening? Kuna mtu ananisikiza hapa? You want your nation healed? Unataka taifa lenu liwe hai ama lipone? Get the word of God back in Kenya. Rudisha neno la Mungu katika taifa la Kenya. Preaching books. Wacha kuhubiri vitabu. Stop preaching somebody else's books. Wacha kuhubiri na kanisa wakati. Start preaching the word of God. Hubiri neno la Mungu. There will be prosperity then in Kenya. Kutakuwa na ufanisi Kenya. There will be healing and miracles then in Kenya. Kutakuwa na uponyaji na miujiza Kenya. It's not music. Sio muziki. It's not prophecy. Sio unabii. It's the word of the Lord. In neno la Bwana. The Bible, Biblia, has power. Ina nguvu to change lives. Nakubadilisha maisha. 1 Peter 1:23 please. Peter I'm almost done. Iko karibu kumaliza. Woo! Woo! 1 Peter 1:23 says what? Inasemaje? Being born again, mm. not of corruptible seed, but, but by the word of God, the word which God. liveth, liveth, which liveth, abideth. which liveth, and abideth. And abideth. They and have abideth. to be the word of God. Liveth, liveth. And liveth and abideth. Liveth and abideth. One more time, say it. The word of God. Liveth. And abide it. How long? Forever. Forever. It changes your life. Give God something to use. The Bible doesn't say. Nothing is impossible to God. Hakuna nisiluwezekana kwa Mungu. Nothing is impossible with God. Inasema hakuna nisiluwezekana na Mungu. He needs a partner. Anahitaji mfanyikazi pamoja naye. He needs you to call. Anahitaji ushiriki naye. Are you listening to me? Anaskiza. It never says nothing is impossible to God. I say me hakuna lisilo zikana na with God. Inasema kwa Mungu, kwa Mungu, with God means you need to cooperate with him. Kwa Mungu unahitaji kuhusika naye. When you cooperate with his word. Unapohusika na neno lake. Miracles will happen. Miujiza itatendeka. Signs and wonders will happen. Demons will be defeated. Satan will be defeated. And you'll be free. Na utakuwa mshindi. 
Fill your heart. Fill your mind with the scriptures. It produces faith. In a letter, Iman. 10 17. Faith comes by hearing the word. Power to cleanse you. The Bible says the word of God will cleanse us. Ephesians 5, 25 and 26 it has power to build you in Acts 20 verse 32 read for me Psalm 119 read verse 98 please Pastor Dan thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemy. Stop! Stop! Watch out. Through your commandments, I have become wiser than the devil. I become wiser than my enemies. It's not college education sio masomo ya chuoni wisdom ambaye inakupa hekima is bible education ni biblia masomo ya kibiblia one more time read it for me then thou thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemies maagizo yako hunitia hekima kuliko adui zangu would you read for me now verse 130 Oh, this is my favorite. Same Psalm, 119, verse 130, please. The entrance of thy words giveth light. Uh -huh. It giveth understanding unto the simple. One more time. The entrance of thy words giveth what? Giveth light. Stop. It means it drives darkness away. Do you want to see darkness out of your life? Yes or no? Yes. The entrance of thy word gives light. And understanding. Even to the simple. And finally. Wow. Peace. Psalm 85 verse 8. Read for me. Psalm 85, verse 8. I will hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Let them not turn again to folly. No, Lord. No, Lord. I want to sing you a song from the Bible. I want to teach it to you. Go to Psalm 19. Let's sing this song together. Psalm 19, verse 7. Verse 8. Verse 9. Study one nine, ten. Study one nine, ten. Come, Dan. We're going to sing it together. Come, Sinash. I'm going to teach it to you. Bring your mics. It's in your Bible. We're going to sing verse seven. Then we're going to jump to verse ten. Okay, guys? Choir, stand up. You're going to help me. We're going to sing verse 8, then we're going to sing verse 10. Verse 10 is the chorus. Uh, we're just singing the Bible. This is my message. This is my message. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Let me sing it alone. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Now verse 10. Verse 10, please. More to be desired are they than gold. Hear them much fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Can you sing it with me? Can we go back to verse 7? All right. 
So it's a very simple melody. Okay? The law of the Lord is perfect. Sing it. Converting the soul. Help me there, Jim. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. Verse 10. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Everyone standing, please. Verse 8. The law of the Lord. What, you still sing it again. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Verse 10, the chorus. More to be desired are they than gold, yet a much fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Verse 8, please. The statues of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart, the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Verse 10, more to be desired are they than gold, yet the much fine gold, sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Verse 9, please. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Lift your hands as you sing verse 10. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, the much fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey. And the honeycomb. Lift your hands again. More to be desired are they than gold. In a much fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey. And the honeycomb. When I came to Kenya, day before yesterday, I knew there's two messages I have to preach. The deity of Christ and the reliability of scripture. I did it. I gave you the word. Let it fill your mind and heart. Watch. Now let's worship. Lift your hands to heaven. As the deer panteth for the water brooks. Yeah. We're hungry tonight. Are you hungry tonight? Are you hungry for God's blessing? God's blessed presence. Oh, As the deep panted for the Lift your hands and tell him, saints, you are Lord, are my heart. Desire and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. Sing it, Jim. Sing that second part. You alone, you're my 
the living God fall afresh on me sing it choir spirit of Upon me, breath of God, breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord, as I lift my hands in surrender to your name, most high, for I'm yielding to your spirit, walking in your love. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore your holy name. Breathe upon me, breath of God. surrender to your name. Most high, I'm yielding to your spirit. I'm walking in your love. Jesus, I
Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore. Your holy name. There is a river that flows from deep within. Come on. There is a fountain that flees. Freeze, freeze the soul from sin. Come to the waters. People of God, there is a vast supply. There is a river that never, never shall run dry. There is a river. Sing it, sing it, that flows from deep within. There is a fountain there is a fountain that frees the soul from sin. Come to the waters. There is a vast supply. There is a river that never There came a sound from heaven. It was like a mighty rushing wind. It filled their hearts with singing. It gave them peace within. The Spirit gave the promise. His power will descend. He said, from your inner being, from your inner being, from your inner being, from your inner being, will flow river with no end. There is a river. It flows. It flows from deep within. Sing it, choir. There is. It's a fountain that frees the soul from sin. It frees the soul. Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting in my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Here's my cup. Fill it up. 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 Fill it up and make me whole. Pick up the key. Fill my cup, Lord. Come on. I lift it up, Lord. Come up where it is. to be thirsting in my soul. You want it? Join hands. Join hands. Join hands right here. Join hands. See 
get up here all you pastors get up here right now there is a river that flows from deep within there is a fountain a fountain that frees the soul sing it come to the water there is a vast supply there is a vast supply there is a river. There is a river that shall run dry. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come here, ladies. Come here. Lift your voices, choir. All of you up here, you, you singers, come here. You singers, come here. Just the singers, quick. Just the singers. The revival is returning to Kenya. the part of God. Hallelujah. Pick up the key. Pick up the key. Hallelujah. voices and praise his name. Hallelujah. With you. Keep it with you. Keep it with you. Hallelujah. Bring up the key. Bring this man here. Bring this man here. Lift your hands and worship him. Bring that lady here. Bring her here. Bring her here. Bring her here. The Lord's going to use her. The Lord's going to use this woman here. Mighty the Lord. Mighty the Lord. Pick up the key. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go back to seats, please. Go back to seats, please. 
seats. Go back to your seats, please. All of you, go back to your seats. Go back to your seats, please. Go back to your seats, please. Come here, darling. This your son. This one. That's your daughter. Who's he? These are your sons. Go back to seats, please. Your Jesus. Go back to seats. Help the people go back to their seats. Help them go to their seats. Lift this man here. Bring him back here. The Lord's going to use him. Bring him here. This guy. Pick him up. Touch. Clear the platform, please. Pick him up. Take him back, please. Come here. Choir. Join hands. Join hands, choir. Lift your hands to heaven. When, when I say three, cry fire. One, two, three. Fire on you! Fire on you! There, there, there! There, 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 there! There, there, there! In front of me, join hands! Join hands in front of me! When I say three, cry fire! One, two, three! Receive it! Receive it! Receive it! Receive it! In Jesus' name, receive the Father of God! There's miracles happening in this place. Go get the miracles. Come on. Come on, Beverly. Come on, Kent. Come on, Randy. Come on, Marie. Get down there. There's miracles happening all over the place. God is healing men of you. Lift your hands, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing now. Don't even wait for me to call out your healing. All the pastors from China. All the pastors from China. Get up here. You from China. Get up here. Only the Chinese pastors. Get up here. The Chinese pastors. Get up here. Stand right here. Only the ones that came from China. Get them up here. Get them on the platform. Get them on the platform. Get them on the platform this way. There's miracles happening in the in the audience. Don't even wait for me. Don't even wait for me to call the healing out. Just lift your hands and say, Jesus! 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 Call upon the name of the Lord. He'll set you free. Don't get that near. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Lord, visit your people in China. Visit them. Visit them. Visit them. Them, Lord. Visit them, Lord. Lord. My heart is for the Chinese church. My heart is for the Chinese people. Let the fire of God come, come upon the church in China. Join hands. Join hands. 
牵手，牵手，牵手，牵手，手牵起来，手牵起来，手牵。When I say three， 当我数到三的时候 ，You say fire， 你就说火。Wait, wait, when when I say three， 当我说到三的时候，你再说啊，一、二、三。That's a pastor.、Oh, he's got ten thousand churches. That's his pastors. Thank God for you, Pastor Robert. Lord, visit the Chinese church. Visit the Chinese church. The church in China. There's miracles happening everywhere. When a miracle is happening, they can kill a man. If God is healing you, get up here. Come on, Mungwa, na kuponya njoo hapa. The blind man said, "Kipogo alisema, Jesus, Yesu, have mercy on me." Irehemu, lift your hands and say the same thing. You know me, come on, stand up, say me, bile bile. Jesus, Yesu, have mercy on me. Irehemu, have mercy on me. Kurubie. Have mercy on me. He will heal you. Ata kuponya. He will touch you. Ata kuguza. Go back to your seats. Go back to your seats. Rudeni vijo. Go back. Go back. Go back. Barudisha. Go back to your seats. Barudisha. Tell them to go back to their seats. Yeah. 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 What happened? What happened? She had a car accident. Was blind in her left eye. God just opened her eye tonight. Husband and wife. She was blind. In her, from a car accident. Wait, wait. There's a lot of healings. 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 All glorious, preparing us, your temple, born as living stones, where you're enthroned. Those of you who are sick, place your hand on your disease right now. As I'm singing the song, you can feel fire on your body. Some will feel heat on your body. That's God's healing power. As you rose from death in power, come rise with Him. Our worship, rise up and our praise. Let the hand that saw you raise clothe us in your glory. Draw us by your grace. Sing it, choir. Oh, the glory of your presence. Which leg? Left leg. Left leg. Let's walk. Holy. Let me have the king. Holy, holy, our Lord. My dear lady, come on back. Mama Jo, Mama Rudy, Rudy. Holy, Mama Rudy. Holy, holy.
death in his left ear God just opened his ear tonight I haven't had a whole ear in this ear hello yes for one year he couldn't hear at all Somebody say hallelujah. Holy. Holy, holy. Randy, what happened? You tell me. This man was in a fight 25 years ago. Were you born? 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 Were you this guy. You you were blind? Shh. How blind was your eye? One eye could not see. You couldn't see out of it at all? For more than about 25 years. Five years. Okay. Put your hand on the good eye. Can you see me? Follow me. Pastor Benny deaf, but God healed her. She's holding her hearing aids in her hand. You can hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Hold the mic. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Amen. What happened to the boy? This 11 year old boy, deaf in his right ear. God just healed his ear. It is open. The demon of deafness is being broken in Kenya. May the Lord open the spiritual ears of the people in Kenya. He that had uh, uh, an ear to heal, let him hear what the Spirit says. How old are you? 11 years. 11? Yes. Which ear was, was it his eye or ear? Ear. Which ear? Uh, Put your hand on this one. Can you hear me? Yes. Hold the mic. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 And I have not forgotten the pastors uh, uh, down there. I did not realize last night till the Archbishop told me that the majority, if not all the people up front here were pastors. Tomorrow at, at 4, is it 4 o'clock? At the convention KICC Center KICC Yes sir I want to minister to the pastors Make sure to come Usi kuja Make sure to come to Kisha umefika 4 o'clock in the afternoon Pastor Benny this young girl since 2 years old was deaf in her left ear Here's another one the ear just popped open she can hear. And, and since and she was, was 2 years old, two years old. Which ear, darling? Sikiogani. Mm -hmm. Which ear was deaf? Sikiogani alikuwa linasikia. She says both of them. Alikuwa anasema yote. Then, hello. She said both of them. Hallelujah. You were deaf in both? How many years? Since you've been two years old. You've been deaf in this ear and this ear. Okay, hold the mic. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You can hear me? Yeah. You can hear me? Yes. Yeah. In 
both ears. How old are you now? How old are you now? Old are you now? 18 years old. You've been deaf since you were two. You can hear me good? Wow. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Yes, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Come on, Bruce. Just play it for me. And help him there on the piano with the nice high keys you got there. Come on, Joaquin. Lord, I pray this young girl, 18 years of age, will be a preacher. Baba Naomba, who you've been to a Miaka Kumina Nani, our Mubiri. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say Amen. Say Amen. Say Amen. Say Amen. Say amen. Pick up the key quick. Heavenly, just for a minute. Just you, heavenly. Come here, come here. What are you feeling, darling? What are you feeling on? Your... What do you feel on your butt? Pick her up. She's sensing the presence of God. That's the Holy Spirit, honey. Jesus. You're the sweetest name of all. Jesus. You always hear us when we call. Jesus. You lift us up each time we fall. You're the sweetest. Sweetest name of all. This is holy. This is holy. The girl who's been deaf since she was two years old. The Lord just told me she's going to be a woman preacher. Once I was deaf, but now I hear. Lift your hands, say thank you, Lord, all of you. Thank you, Lord. What happened there, Randy? This young man had what was called nephrotic disease, which is a degenerative nerve disease. He's even got paperwork on it. He's totally healed. No pain. Couldn't You've got done. the papers from the doctor? Yep. What does it say? It's diagnosed with the nephrotic syndrome. A disease that the, the water is swollen all over the body. He was swollen all over the body and the legs were stiff. He could not the legs were stiff. He could not move swiftly. But now he can he could Let, let's let's see you walk. Wow. Wait, the doctor said the do here, come here, come here, Mama. Help help that girl. The doctor said the doctor said what? The, doc the doctor said that the, the water, the, the source of the water could not be detected. So we were waiting for biopsy. The, whole, the body was swollen all over with a syndrome called nephrotic syndrome. The water was swollen all over. The body was swollen all over. Kenyatta National Hospital. Yes, sir. You have been admitted twice. Twice in the hospital. Yes, the last visa you were discharged on Friday, the, the second uh, admission. With the same, same syndrome, water... How long? Which Friday? The, the last Friday. That was the second discharge.
come let's walk tutembee hangeweza kufanya hivyo can we give the lord a big shout of hallelujah there it is pastor robert ndio hiyo there it is pastor robert ndio hiyo from the hospital kutoka hospital ya kuu ya kenyata for this mama's faith what happened to the boy nimefanyika kwa huyu bwana huyu kijana he was autistic and autistic autistic and he was all over the place and he could not speak and now he's really calm and he's beginning to speak words oh alikuwa hapo wait 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 this is your son yes and he was autistic he could not do what he could not speak any word but now he can say no and today he has been calm which is very unusual and a miracle to me Can you can you talk to me? Can you talk to me? Lord perfect healing. Perfect healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help the lady up. Help her up. Help her up. Help this one up. Let's go. Help him down. Help this element down to God be the praise. What happened to that? Pastor Benny tumors in his lungs. He could not breathe. God healed him. He's breathing. You have tumors in your lungs. Tumors in the lungs. Like one uvimbe kwenye mapafu. Fibroid, fibroid in my lungs, but now I'm breathing. I'm now Angeweza kupumua sasa anapumua. Breathe in. Again. Again. Go back to your doctor have him check you. You'll see there's nothing wrong with you. Utaenda kwa daktari akuangalie ataona kuna kitu chochote kikiyo. Thanks. Thanks. And the presence of the Lord is in this place. And the presence of the Lord. I want to hear you play the piano, your Hakim. Pastor Benny, 10 years diabetic, breast swollen as a result, leg swollen. The swelling is gone. Kufura imekwisha. I'm sensing a mighty anointing here. Na hisi upako mkuu mali hapa. All you pastors. Nyote wachungaji. On the front. Wale mlio hapa. Get up here. Kimbia hapa mbele. Pick up the key there. Come on Bruce. Can we have these men holding him back move to the side? All the security move to the side please. Security is mnaweza ondoka. Mnaweza ondoka. They 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 won't break. They won't break in. Hawatavunja chochote. Muache tu. These are all pastors? Yes sir. Even them that are running? Yes sir. Yes sir. Are you serious? Are you all pastors? This must be the largest pastors get together coming together in the history I think maybe of this country. Can you believe that? Mr. President, the in your nation. If they will do what I preached on tonight, Kenya will be the richest nation on earth. Kenya itakuwa tajiri zaidi ya mataifa mengine yote duniani. The most prosperous land. Itakuwa 
inji iliona fanikio not just in africa sio tu africa because it says in psalm 1 nasema kwa zaburi moja whatsoever he doeth shall prosper inasema chochote wanachotenda linafanikiwa God will bless this land. Am I still seeing the people come? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. You are all pastors? Of churches? If you're a pastor, wave. Mm-hmm. That, 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 I can't believe it. Look at them running there. Have you seen Archbishop? Have you seen the many pastors in one service? Give them is Kia, which, Pastor Robert. These, these, these are all pastors and they're still coming because outside you have got two major overflow. So people couldn't get in. So some of them have been outside. And Yeah. He said we needed to do the meeting here. I'm going to pray for you but I want the whole stadium to stand up everyone stand up we're going to all surrender to Jesus no more living half a life Maisha, maisha nusu. No more half a commitment. Hakuna tena nusu kujitolea. Total surrender. Kujitoa kikamilifu. To the Son of God. Kwa mwana wa Mungu. Lift your hands and say, Father. In the name of Jesus. I come to you. Receive me, Lord. Accept my life, Lord. I surrender to you, O Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Lord, my God, my King, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Jesus I call upon you Lord take my life let it be consecrated Lord to thee I give you my life my heart my mind my body my all you are my savior forever my lord forever my god forever i no longer belong to the world i no longer belong to myself and I no longer belong to Satan. I belong to you. O King of Kings. Lord of Lords. My Jesus. My Jesus. My Jesus. Forever. Wash me now. With your blood, cleanse my mind, cleanse my heart, cleanse my life, cleanse my body. I surrender my spirit, my soul, my body to you, Lord. Use me for your glory. Glorify your name in my life 
through my life, all the days of my life, in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, you heard their prayer. Answer their cry. Answer their cry. There is a river. It's here. Are you ready for the river? Pastors, are you ready for the river? Are you ready for the river? Join hands quickly, join hands, come on. Shikanamikono, 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 Waraka. Shikanamikono. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? When I say three, when I say three, when I say three, you're going to cry fire. Are you ready? Are you ready? Pick up the, come on, let's go to Israel, come on. One. Come on, Bruce. Two. Three. Fire. 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 Pick up the key! There is a river. Come on, Dad! Come on, Dad! Let's go! From deep within. What is that? Bishop, please come with your wife. How many of you feel the anointing strong here? Lift your hands, say, Father, increase it, increase it tenfold, tenfold, tenfold. Mr. President, will you allow me? to pray with you. Mweshmiwa Rais, je unaeza ni Rusu ni kuombe. I'm going to ask God Tamuomba Mungu to bless this man Ambariki huyu buwana Man of God Huyu mtumishwa Mungu Bless his wife Ambariki mkewe to bless his government. I'm going to give you all a word. Because he's in office. 
The heavens have opened. And they will remain open as long as he is in office. So whatever the church does, it will have an imp it will have impact in Kenya. Because the righteous are an authority. Therefore, the blessings of heaven are upon Kenya. Can you give me a mic, please? Because this one is breaking up a little bit. All right. Let me let me have another mic. Sinash. Yeah, thank you. Much better. I want the pastors who are on the platform. Do not lay hands on him. Just come and kneel behind him. Right now. Come and kneel behind him. The Lord is telling me not to lay hands on you. Because he will lay his hands on you. And he is going to bless you with health. And strength and wisdom. Because this nation is a blessed nation. When 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 a president rise desires when his wife the first lady desires rise akitamani the healing of the nation. That's very precious to God. And I believe this is the beginning of other events in Nairobi, Nairobi in other cities of Kenya. That will bring healing to this country. So I'm going to pray. And I'm going to get on my knees. Come help me please. Lord my God. Baba Mungu wangu. We come to you, O oh Father in heaven, to bless Kubariki, this president, Huyu Raisi, your servant, wako, his wife, Mkewe, his leadership, viongozi, uongozi wake, O oh God of Abraham, Mungu wa Ibrahimu, Isaac and Jacob, Isaac and Yakobo, extend. Zidisha maisha yake. Extend life. Zidisha maisha yake. Extend their days. Zidisha siku. In Jesus' name. Siku zao katika jina la yesu. Bless them with health. Wabariki na afya. Longevity of life. Maisha marefu. Heavenly wisdom. Hekima ya kimbinguni. Enlighten his eyes that he might behold wondrous things out of your law. That his wife will see wondrous things out of your law. First lady, I pray the prophetic will always be in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything they touch will prosper. Every decision they make will succeed. And Lord, I pray no more losses for Kenya. No more losses. Total recovery will begin 
in this nation. Your word declares David recovered all. Let this mighty man of God, the president of this nation, and the first lady, cause this nation to recover all. In the mighty name Katika jina ku, of Jesus, la Yesu, the Son of God. Wana wa Mungu. And I want you to cry Amen seven times. Number one. Amen. Two. Amen. Three. Amen. Four. Amen. Five. Amen. Six. Amen. Shout it. So, I want to let the Archbishop come, please, and bless the people of the land. Bless the pastors of the land and who came from other nations. You said, My dear First Lady, I'm welcome in Kenya. Kenya. Would you please invite me back? <laughs> I love you too. Now I'm going to ask you. Now Uliza. To go back to your seats. Because. I forgot. To take the offering. We need to give an offering. And the people said. Did you sense the power of God? Do you love the Lord? So it's time to give. So go back to your seats. And prepare your offering. Don't leave the stadium. Till you give the offering. Because I want to pray over your gift. I was so caught up. I was so caught up. In the things of the spirit, I forgot all about the finances. And I thank God for Marie Dawn that reminded me. So, go back to your seats. I was going to dismiss you. But I cannot right now. But I'm glad I'm doing it this way. Because I believe God planned it. Like it. Don't you all agree with me? Yes, sir. How many of you agree with me? Say amen while you're walking away. First the spiritual. Then the natural. Now, in most cases, the natural comes first. But sometimes God switches it around. Money follows ministry. The anointing is on me. So what I pray will happen. I'm going to pray that the Lord will bless your finances tenfold tenfold because as I pray God will do it I've been to Kenya before I've been to Nairobi before I, I, I don't remember feeling the anointing I felt tonight back then. You've been praying. You've been believing God. God now is going to reward you. Spiritually. 
physically ki mwili financially na kifedha but i want you all to get your seats naomba zote tuketi kwa viti vyetu then i'll have the archbishop come kisha ndaomba archbishop aje hallelujah hallelujah i still feel that marvelous anointing on me bado na hisi huo upago juu i feel electricity on na hisi umeme ndani yako god is in this place mungu yuko mahali hapa and the white suit did not do it na sio suti nyeupe iliyotenda hayo jesus did it yesu ndiye alitenda i simply obeyed the elders nimeo nimetu nimeti tu wazee we want you to wear your white suit waliosema wewe tunataka uvae suti yako nyeupe people have been sending text messages to pastor david nasema watu wanamtumia ujumbe reverend kisotu na bishop white suit akasema wapi suti yako nyeupe so i brought it sasa nimelete i wasn't going to wear it singekuwa ama singevaa i'm glad i brought it like the fry ni meiva now as you go to your seats unaporudi kwenye viti vyenu i want you to listen while you're walking nataka usikize unapotembea the lord god bwana mungu is so mighty in this house ni mkuu sana katika nyumba hii that what we are going to agree kwamba kile tutakachokubaliana nacho itakwenda kufanyika Can't matter, let's come here a second Do you believe in debt cancellation Unaamini katika kuvutuliwa mbali kwa madeni Can 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 someone give him a microphone Si mtu tafadhali amsaidie na microphone Kipasa sauti Can I have a microphone for him Now this man Huyu bwana years ago miaka iliyopita old money alikuwa na madeni can i tell him the government of the united states alikuwa na deni kwa serikali ya marekani how much money did you owe them 100 here 100000 us dollars and you gave like me a moja ya marekani and you gave under your instruction to sow and believe god because it was an impossible situation for us my Beverly and i in Beverly come here Can we have a microphone that works that doesn't cut? It's a healing service. Maybe we need a healing for microphones. This I think will work better. My wife Beverly and I in obedience to the teaching that you taught us, we begin to sow and believe God. Ah, mke wangu tulifundishwa ku panda mbegu na kumwamini Mungu. It was an impossible situation because Because of penalties and interest the debt just kept growing there was no way out. Kwa sababu ya interest deni kapanda juu zaidi. But there came a day at the end of our sowing ikafika siku baada ya sisi kupanda mbegu that the government contacted us. Kwamba serikali ilitutafuta sisi and said we would like to wipe your debt out clean ikasema tunataka kuvutilia mbali deni yenu kabisa no money. na sasa hamna deni lolote kwetu and i gave this testimony na nikatoa ushuhuda huu in pastor benny's church kwa kanisa la pastor benny and a man in the service na mtu katika ibada knew his brother worked for the government in florida alijua kwamba anafanyia serikali kazi kule florida and he called his brother to ask was this true akampigia ndugu yake simu kama hili jambo tunasema kwamba ni kweli and his brother responded na ndugu yake akajibu Yes it's true. Ndio ni kweli. I don't know why we did it. Sijui kwa nini tulifanya vile. Something compelled us to cancel the debt for this man and this woman. Lakini tulipata msukumo tuvutilie mbali madeni ya familia hii. If you sow you will reap in Uki, due season if you do not faint. Ukipanda utavuna katika majira haya na hayo utashindwa kuvuna. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Will you believe Je waamini? I said will you believe? Yes. Choir will you believe? Yes. Pastors will you believe? Yes. That God will cancel your debt? Kwamba Mungu atafutilia mbali madeni yako? I had a debt of 10 million dollars. Nilikuwa na deni ya milioni 10 dola ya Marekani. 
Mr. President, Mweshmiwa Rais, Dear First Lady, Na Mama wa Taifa Mweshmiwa, I owed secular TV stations Nilikuwa na madeni ya ma television na runinga kada duniani 10 million dollars. Milioni kumi ya marekani. We used the company to buy our airtime. Tulitumia kampuni kununua ma, masaa yetu ya, ya runinga. They called us. Wakatupigia. And they said they're going to take you off the air. Wakasema tutawakata, tutawatoa kwenye runinga. If you don't runinga, pay your bill. Kama hulipi deni lako. In five days. Wa siku tano. They are giving you five days. Wanakupa siku tano peke. To come up with 10 million. Kutoa ama kuinua milioni kumi ya marekani. Reinhard Bonke. Reinhard Bonke. How many know who? Wave your hand. Reinhard Bonke called me. Reinhard Bonke akanipigia simu. He did not know that I had a 10 million dollar debt. Hakujua kwamba nilikuwa na deni ya milioni kumi. He said Benny. Asema Benny. I have a crusade coming up in Nigeria. Niko na crusade na ukwenda kufanya kule Nigeria. I need 1 million dollars from you. Nahitaji milioni moja ya dola kutoka kwako. Will you give our ministry a million dollars he said je utapatia huduma yetu milioni moja ya dola ya marekani i was going to say to reinhard nilikuwa najaribu kumwambia reinhard reinhard i owe 10 mbona nisikupe na nina deni ya 10 i don't think i can give you one well hata sidhani nitakupatia hata moja he said but god tells me akasema lakini mungu ananiambia mimi you will give me a million dollars kwamba wewe utanipa milioni moja it made me very uncomfortable. I said, I'll tell you what. I'll give you 300,000. And give you the rest later. He said, God said one million. He told me you million. one million. Anataka milioni moja. Reinhard Bonke was very bold. Reinhard Bonke alikuwa achezi, ni mjaziri mno. That day. So I called Oral Roberts. I said, Oral, I said, Oral, I need you to come on This Is Your Day and help me raise $10 million. I need it in five days. He came. He sat on the set. I said, now, Paul Crouch of TBN allows me three minutes at the end to raise money. When, when you had a half hour program, he gave you three minutes only to raise funds. So I said, I said we have three minutes to raise 10 million. Will you do it? So he preached, ministered. At the end of the program, I reminded him we had to raise the 10 million. He looks at the camera and he says to the camera, he said, Benny is in trouble, help him. That's all he said. I said, you can say more. There's more no time. He took five seconds. He looks at the camera. He says, Benny is in trouble. Help him. I said, you can, you can, you can go on. He says, I'm done. I was very upset. I'm thinking, dear Oral Roberts, the man of God, I brought him here. I gave him an honorarium. And all he says, Ben is in trouble. <laughs> Would you believe it? And they are my witnesses. And Jim Sonero is my witness. Ten million came in five days. And I called Bonke. I said, Reinhardt. Here's what happened. And Reinhardt said, God bless you, Benny. <laughs> Ten million came. 
Now the amazing thing is most of the people that gave on the phones that day were not Christians. They were unbelievers. We tell our people when somebody calls and gives money pray with them. So they said my staff said can we pray with you? And they began cussing back. They did not want the prayer. They began saying horrible things on the phone. They said, we don't need your da-da-da-da prayer. You tell that man we like him. And please tell him to keep wearing his white suit. And they gave $10 billion. The wealth of the wicked belongs to the righteous. God did it for me. Do you want him to do it for you? You've never faced a 10 million dollar debt, did you? If you believe that God will cancel your debt and prosper the work of your hands, stand up so I can agree with you. All of you in the stadium, stand up. But you must give. Give God something to use. When you give him your offering, he receives it. He blesses it. He multiplies it. And he gives it back to you. So stretch your hands towards me. I'm stretching my hands towards you. And I'm going to ask God under the anointing that is on me to bless the work of your hands and bring you out of debt. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. We agree, Lord. We agree that as the people give to your kingdom, as the people sow in your work, you'll multiply the seed sown Give them a harvest they've never known. What you did for me so many times, do it for them. Cancel their debt. Please say amen. amen. Cancel every debt. Please say amen. amen. Cancel their debt. Please say amen. You're able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or even think. According to your riches and glory, do it. Lord, I pray, give your people property. I feel faith for this. Give your people new property. I believe with all my heart for God promised it. You'll receive land, houses, and land with persecution. God will give you land. God will give you new property. Do you believe it? Say, Father, I believe for new property. A new home. A new business. New property. In my hands. In the name of Jesus. You said. Lord you said. That we will receive. Houses. And land. With persecution. A hundredfold. A hundredfold. A hundredfold. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands and praise him. Out loud, praise him. Audibly praise him.
audibly kwa pray sauti, kwa sauti, kwa sauti. will be cancelled. Then it will be cancelled. Your properties will come your way. Houses will come your way. Lands will come your way. So this seed in faith. So the seed in faith. I am a witness. I am a witness. God gave us property in Orlando. I claimed it for the Lord. Today it's a big church. And I was in Matamoros, Mexico. And I gave a seed for the orphans. And God Almighty came with the money for the land. And we bought the land because we made a promise to sow seed to help the orphans to help the needy. And it can happen again and again and again and again. Every time I have given so I can bless people's lives. Someone came bless my life. A man of God after I gave a seed to help orphans I was in the hospital when I was dying and I was reading Psalm 41 and I read what it says blessed is the man that considers the poor the Lord will not give him over to the will of his enemy and it promised healing and prosperity read it. Psalm 41 seven promises I had the Saba I called my secretary I said I want to sponsor orphans they offered me 21 families to help I said let's do it a man of God a pastor in Africa Kule Africa in Nigeria to be specific Kule Nigeria paid off my home Akalipia bomayangu that we bought tulionunua right after I came out of the hospital nilipotoka ku hospitali because I obeyed the scriptures. It's the word of God. Do you want land? Do you want a new house? Do you want to pay off the present house? Then lift your hands and ask God. Come on. Lift your hands and ask God for it. Ask him now in faith. Ask him now by faith. Call on him by faith. Say, Lord, you said in your word. You said you'll give me houses. You'll give me land. If I give. If I sow seed. Here's my seed tonight. No more debt. Hakuna madeni tena. No more debt. Hakuna madeni tena. No more debt. Hakuna madeni tena. New properties. Ma mashamba mapya. New houses. Malimpia. Manyumba mapya. Mine. Ni yangu. Ni yangu. Ni yangu. In Jesus' name. Katika jina la Yesu. Now lift, lift your hands and praise Him. Out loud. Pesifa, pesifa. Every time you pray. Pasa sauti. The miracles begin when you praise Him. Miracles happen when you praise Him. Now take your seed and sow your seed. Take your seed and sow your seed. And sow your seed. Prepare your seed now. And the people are coming here with those big buckets. Are you going to pass the offerings or people come forward and give? How do you do it? They pass. Good. I love it. Don't you go home till you sow a seed. And when you put your seed in, say thank you, Lord. No more debt. Thank you, Lord. New property. New houses. My house will be paid. My apartment paid. My condo paid. My new house is on the way. It happened to Pastor Dan. He got a new property for his church. When he believed what the Bible says, 
All right. So, ah, dear yeah. Archbishop, would you come and ask them how to do it? Come, please, and tell Archbishop, them how to do it. Do they, do they come forward? Yes, they come forward. Okay, you tell them how to do it. Yes, they come forward. Okay, we are taking uh, the, your seat from where you are seated. You can see a bag before you. Just go before and put it. But then the, those who are in the back, how do they give? Oh, the, they there give. is the pay bill number Good. on the screen where you can put your pay bill offering. Uh, I hope you put it here on the screen. Okay. And, and we have it on the screen, please. And we have it on the screen, please. There we go. Yeah, keep it on the screen. Keep it on the screen. Bakisha hiyo maandishi ya vile tutakavyotoa kwenye screen. Now, Lord, we agree. Pastor David, come. And bring the gentleman with you sitting next to you, the bishop. Lord, we agree. In the mighty name of Jesus that you'll give your people new property. Come on, people, praise the Lord. It's going to happen. I'm telling you, lift your hands and praise the Lord. It's going to happen to you. Lord, give them new lands, new properties, in the glorious name of Jesus. Cancel their debts, we praise you, Lord. We exalt your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. You're going to sing it for me. Dear, dear Dan and Sinash and Jim. Okay, let's go. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. Sing it. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. He will give his angel charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Sing it again. Jehovah Jireh. My provider, his grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me again. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. My God, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches. Where's the drummer? Where's the drummer? He will give his angels charge. Let me hear the drums. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. For me, for me, Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let us sing songs of praise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, let us sing songs of praise. And faster, let's go. Hallelujah, 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 let us sing songs of praise. One more time. Jehovah Jireh. My provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God, my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches in glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. I understand that some of the officials want me to pray for them, some government officials. If you are in government and you want me to pray for you, please come. Right. Come. Come this way, please. This is the president's daughter. You're very lovely. 
Wewe unapendeza mno. What do you want God to do for you my dear? Unataka Mungu akufanyie nini? I have a call for the young people in our country so I'd love God to use me for the young people of this country. It's precious. Yes. May I make a suggestion? Ninaomba nitoe pendekezo. Can you all stand up please? Tafadhali naomba msimame. Have you heard of Jesus image? Umewaisikia Jesus image sura ya Yesu kipindi have wave at me. Wanga mmeona Jesus image. That's my children. Hawa ni wanangu. Michael and Jessica are my children. Michael na Jessica ni wanangu. Michael got saved in our ministry when he was 12. Michael amekuwa kwa huduma tangu akiwa na miaka 12. Jessica is my daughter. Na Jessica ni binti yangu. My real daughter. Binti yangu wa kweli. And I told them I'm going to talk about them in Kenya and I did last night. Na niliwaongelea ama niongelea niliongea juu yao jana. I want Jesus image to come to Kenya. Wow. Ni wangapi mungependa Jesus image ije Kenya? I will make it happen. Nitafanya nitahakikisha imefanyika. In fact, kwa hakika when they come nikikuja I'll come with them. Oh, wakija ndakuja na wao. And so this is your 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 vision. Kwa hiyo hiyo ndio hii maono yako. Ambia watu. Um my name is Shaline. I love the young people of this country and of Africa so much. And God has called me to them and I pray God would make a way for me to do whatever it is that he wants for the young people of our nation. It's precious. Ya the man amno sana. Can we lift our hands to heaven? Tunemi kona yetu juu mbinguni. Jesus your presence. Yes, we poako. Jesus. Oh Jesus. Can you sing it with me choir? Jesus. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Oh Jesus your presence makes me pick up the key let's sing it again Jesus Oh Jesus Jesus a whisper Jesus sing it quiet Lord anoint her this mighty call in her life minister through her to the young people of Kenya As I walked through this door I felt your presence and I knew this was the place 
where your blessed presence abides. For this is the temple. I'm talking about the woman, Lord, the girl. Jehovah God abides in her. We are standing in your presence on holy ground. The Lord's asked me to go around her seven times to protect her life. We are standing on holy ground. Sing it, choir. And I know that there are angels all around. Let us pray. Jesus. Jesus. We are standing. In his presence, his presence on the Lord, I dedicate her life to you. I dedicate her life to you. Use her mightily to touch the young people of this generation in this country. In the mighty name of Jesus, your son. I apply the blood of Christ Jesus on her. Protect her, Lord. In Jesus' name. Help her up. As I was walking around you, did you feel something? What did you feel? I felt like I was being anointed for the call. The Lord told me to walk around her. I'm going to surround her with the anointing for protection of her life. Because you are going to challenge the devil. And you're going to win. Because your Savior has won the battle for you. And the word I have for you is step out in faith. And be bold, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you, my dear. Okay, you want you want me to pray for that? Yeah. Stretch your hands towards her. Give her a husband that will fulfill that call with her. Lord, send that young man her way that will be a strength to her, a great support to her. She cannot do this alone, Lord. She's going into the battlefield to win souls, to snatch souls away from the enemy's camp. She needs a husband, Lord. And she needs that husband soon. Send him her way. Soon. Let him be exactly what she wants. Everything she wants about that husband. Grant it, Lord. Grant it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I feel a great anointing for you. You sense it too, don't you? Well, the sky is the limit. What's your name? Charlene. Charlene, what a lovely name. Say Charlene. Say Charlene. Emma Charlene. The sky is the limit. Anger. Go get them, girl. And that you core. Say, say it again. Go get them. Go get them. Girl, get them. In Jesus' name. 
Let's give the Lord a big shout of hallelujah. God bless you, darling. You're all members of the government. Lift your hands to heaven. It's not by eloquent, not by talent, that God's work is done. Not by might, nor by power. Sio kwa nguvu wala uweza. But by my spirit, says the Lord, that war will be won. This is the message for you, members of the government. Keep your it's not by eloquent. It's not by talent. That God's work is done. Not by might, sio kwa uwezo, nor by power, sio kwa nguvu, but by my spirit, kwa roho wangu, says the Lord of hosts. Your war is won this very hour. The anointing of the Lord, here it is. Breaks the yoke of bondage. The anointing of the Lord. The anointing of the Lord. Sets the captives free. The anointing of the Lord. Come on, help me, can't quick. Brings rivers in your desert. That anointing. Stand behind him, guys. Is raining on you, on you. That anointing, leave them down, don't touch them. He's raining on you. The anointing of the Lord breaks the yoke of bondage. Watch it, watch it. The anointing of the Lord sets the captives free. Bless this government. Bless these wonderful people. Bless this people. You're going to see his glory. Lift your hands. A Jew. See his glory. You're going to see its glory come down on Kenya. You believe it? Lift your hands and ask God for it. In his name. Heaven, please, Archbishop, come with me. We'll reign, we'll reign, we'll reign. Archbishop Joe. Joe. See your glory come down. Down. Archbishop, where are you? Archbishop Joe Tafadali. Come with me, please. Joe Nami, Archbishop. Pastor Robert, come with me. Can I get down there somehow? Can we go this way? This way. I want to lay hands on these boxes. Stretch your hands towards them. You're going to come with me and lay hands on these boxes. And we are going to agree that every seed sown will be multiplied. Lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Lord, play it for me. Come on, Bruce. In Jesus' name, we lay our hands on every box. Come on, Archbishop, lay your hands with me. Every one of them, Lord, release the anointing on your people's gifts. Prosper, every one of them. Lord, they praised you already for no more debt, no more lack in their finances. New prosperity 
and new property will come their way and this nation Fahili. in the name of Jesus jina la Yesu. in the mighty name jina la Yesu. he praying in the spirit I can feel that over here. in the mighty name jina la Yesu. of the Lord our God jina nguvu, nguvu la Yesu. every one of them Hila moja wao. Every one of them new prosperity and new property new prosperity and property and property and property property no more debt no more debt no more lack hakuna kukosa tena no more lack hakuna kukosa tena in the glorious name of jesus kwa jina tukufu la yesu Lord, I lay my hands in faith. Release the anointing upon the people's finances. In the glorious name of Jesus. Can you give the Lord a mighty shout? I said a mighty shout. I said another Deputy President and his wife. Alright. I'll pray for as many as I can. I'll come to you rather than you come to me. Stretch your hands. Lord. Baba. Bwana. Bless your servants. Barikim to Mishuako. Bless your servants. Barikim to Mishuako. In the mighty name of Jesus. Atika Jina Kula Yesu. Bless the work of his hands. Bariki Kazia Mikonoyake. Give him mighty wisdom. Nahikima Ku. Revelation. Now Funuo. In your knowledge. Kwa Ufahamuako na Marifayako. In your ways. In Jesus' name. Bless your life. Your strength. Your mighty abilities. Your life. Depth. I see great depth. Spiritual depth. There's a new birth within you spiritually. God is raising and visioning a new vision through your life. Thank you, Lord. It's precious here. The governor of Nairobi. Who is the governor? Governor of Nairobi, you come up. There he comes. Say again. When? Is he here? He's coming. God bless you, sir. Mungu akubariki. God bless you, darling. I felt it. She said she's a pastor. I felt it. That's why I said great depth spiritually. Is it the man? Yes, sir. The governor? Yes, sir. The man who gave us free advertising in the city. He gave us everything free. And I want to say thank you to the uh, network citizen. TV. Citizen, Citizen TV. TV. 
for carrying the crusade live. Can we give the Lord a big hand of praise for that? Pardon? And all Christian television networks were also were live. Stretch your hands towards this wonderful man. What do you want God to do for you? You know, there are times in life when what you ask for happens. This is one of them. Say again. For God's wisdom. All right, Lord. That's the best prayer you can, the best request you can make. Lord. There it is, brother. Oh. Touch. Touch. With wisdom, Lord. Receive it, my brother. Okay. In the name of Jesus, whom I serve. His wisdom from above. His strength from above. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can we give the Lord a mighty hand of praise? Before you leave, tomorrow there's a pastor's meeting at four. And it's be very important. But I'm going to make a request to you. How many have never been to the Holy Land? Do you want to go? Let's believe God. He'll give you the money for it. I'll tell you this. He'll change your life. The Bible will become more real than you'll ever know. Because the land of Israel is the land of miracles. So Father in Jesus name. Give them the funds. To go to the Holy Land. As quickly as possible. Say father, father, say father, I pray in Jesus' name. You said you'll grant my desire. If I delight in you, you'll give me the desires of my heart. It is my desire to visit the land of Israel the Holy Land. Give me the funds I need to pay for my airfare and my hotel and give me extra money for shopping. Amen. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. <laughs> That's it. Yo, yo. We have a man here Uri I don't know what happened to him, but it's somewhere. That, 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 there he is. There. He's from Israel. I invited him to come. And he works with a company called Sorel. Friends with me for a long time. It's nice to see my brother. And they can come to Israel. They are all welcome to come to Israel. We are waiting for you over there. And God willing, Pastor Benny will show you the way. And the nation of Israel where it all began suffered a lot since October 7 and we are waiting for everybody to come and bless the land remember I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you come to the land bless the land and you will be blessed this is my first time in 
Kenya. And I'm mostly amazed of how warm and nice and kind people you all are. Thank you for the hospitality. And we say next year in Jerusalem, I say this year in Jerusalem. I'll be waiting for you there with Pastor Benny, of course. Thank you for the opportunity. What I want to do, I want to go this year to Israel with pastors. I will guide the tour. I will be your guide. I will land very well. And Israel needs you now. Will you go? Yes, sir. Will you go? Yes, sir. Will you go? Will you go? Yes, Let's give the Lord a mighty shout. Archbishop, Archbishop. all yours, and uh, I'll yeah. see you again. I promise when my children come to Kenya, Jesus' image will come to Kenya. I will come back with them. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Please, let's take our seats. Now, about Chaketi. Let's, play, uh, let's move the offering. It has been played for.